you know, you, you don't run into a lot of communities who sing any individual musician or celebrity's praise in my in my circles very often. But what I do, what I do, what I what, what I do remember is there was a cult of Daniel Radcliffe worshippers in my middle school. Yeah, that sounds about right. Doesn't surprise me, honestly. And every and every day I would come back from homeroom, and it would be only this many days until Daniel Radcliffe's birthday. It doesn't Radcliffe surprise me. Time. Taylor said the phrase Daniel Radcliffe and then Graham left. Yeah. Hi, Graham. Okay, Wait. good. I wanted to make a cameo appearance at the Food Lease because I feel like that's going to get our, mem our viewership numbers up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'll Don't check my charts to make sure we're, uh, yeah. we're meeting yeah, quota. Yeah, yeah. The um, algorithm <laughs> really likes Graham. And that's yeah, why the Food yes, Lease doesn't do very well. Rhythm. The algorithm. The algorithm. Rhythm. The algorithm. Rhythm. <laughs> but Graham hates rhythm. Cause they ain't got rhythm. <laughs> this is copyrighted. Uh, Come I just with wanna, me, I just, and this is copyrighted. Uh, I just came here to say, uh, whatever wins deserve to win, whatever loss deserves to lose. I don't even Thanks, know Drew. what you're discussing yeah, tonight. So you, Good so night. You're not... I'm, I'm not oh. saying. I okay. just wanted to make I was going to say, a Mick and Graham co-host would be so... <laughs> So what well, is the topic of tonight's the food list? Uh, we're doing we uh, do. we're doing snacks. Oh, our, our favorite snacks. Am I on the list? Sadly, um, you were um, <laughs> uh, you were a last minute cut. Yeah, you were uh -oh. excluded because oh, we Graham, thought it would be an easy you're not win. A, you're not a snack. You're a full course meal. That mm -hmm. Damn right. All right. Uh, enjoy the food, lease. Thank um, you. Can, can we take a look at the first entry? Because Graham is on the list. What? Oh, <laughs> it's right. It's right. It's true. Uh, I, I'm not. We got a, we have the battle royale, anyways. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Goldfish should win, but uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you, Graham. Thank Woo! you. That's Honestly. a Graham endorsement, guys. Yeah. Guys, let's have a round of applause for Graham. Yay, Graham! That's gonna be so loud in the mic. <laughs> no. And that hurt my hands. I guess. I guess first we should all scream. Oh no! Wait, do we scream for the foodlies? It's Mick's no. hosting, so he can do whatever the hell he yeah, wants. Yeah, I guess Mick can introduce yeah. the foodlies any way he wishes. All right, I'm about to start. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, he is certainly starting. Yeah, I didn't actually have any plans. You're a lot louder. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm like right in front of my mic. Do it. Make a noise. Cool. Make a funny can noise. You... Can you step back? <laughs> Thank God. All right, Hi, and welcome back to your sitting too close. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. Um, Food. Okay. We did. Yes. You guys uh, ever see Ice Age Two? Yes. You know the one song that comes on like three quarters of the way through? No. Food, food, glorious food. food, glorious food. Oh right. Food. Yeah. So right. That's been stuck in my head every year. Every Wait, foodies we do. I'm sorry, Christian. Do you think that's from I Say yeah, That's what I was about to say. Oh my god, it's from Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. Oh my there we fucking go. god. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. Yes. From the Tony Award winning masterpiece, <laughs> Ice Age the Meltdown. <laughs> see, this is the problem with existing on planet Earth, right? Because you see things as like. <laughs> As like this, this thing guy's clearly dying. came from this thing. Taylor's dying. <laughs> Taylor, you know what I've always wanted to do in this situation? Puss. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's. <laughs> I like to state for the record: never acted in Oliver. Um, I was late by Good. one year from my high school. Um, it's just the idea. <laughs> Who's your favorite just, character in Oliver? Oh, you know, uh, the, the, the the mammoth man. that's played by Ray Romano. It's just the He's... idea of like a cast interview. It's like, you know, when I was working studiously for the role of Ice Age 2 The Meltdown, and they gave me the lyrics for Food Glories. <laughs> I have to say, though, <laughs> the best use of a song in an Ice Age movie is the third one, Dawn of the Dinosaurs which ends with Queen Latifah doing a rendition of the classic Was Not Was hit, Everybody Walk the Dinosaur. 
So are those are the movies Can past I say? the first one musicals? No, no, they're not. No. It just ends with Queen Latifah singing "Everybody Walk the Dinosaur." Jordan, I disagree. Set no. me in my way by Rusted Root. Oh yeah, yeah. Is okay, that the first you know I, what? I stand corrected, guys. I need you to give me a moment to let me exhale. If you keep talking, I keep cautiously holding in too much oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Take a break. All right. Uh, well, we got some honorable mentions up, so we might I, as well take a look. I am. I apologize. I don't know why I found that so funny. I don't even like. Oh. Open the door. Get on the floor. Oh, wow. Everybody, Everybody walk the dinosaur. Open the door. The that song's from Ice Age 3, by the way. Yeah. So, that's, the same. <laughs> that's what he just said. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I meant to. Listen whatever. to me, Taylor. How whatever. I, I don't mean, care. Christian, Christian, All right. So. <laughs> so, snacks. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Foodly's Snacks. Yay. Um uh, Snacklies, if you will. Yeah. Um, Where six people hot oven out the food. <laughs> what a what legendary quote. I see what you did there. I am simply reading the description that Christian has provided me with. I say Where six people. Wait, how? <laughs> hot oven out oh, the Oh, I didn't even remember great. I did that. <laughs> oh, you must have been people. so high. Six people hot oven out the food. Yeah, I got Christian, it. It's like it's cold so oven when you oven the cold food, of out how to eat the food. <laughs> this is already the stupidest yearlies we've ever done. Oh my god, yes. No, I don't know about that one. Well, uh, let's see. The night is young. Um, yeah. So do you, guys, so do you guys eat a lot of snacks? I'm just curious. No. Yeah. I, I, um, I used to eat a lot of them. Like, yeah. I, 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 used to, I used to be a lot heavier, actually, because I was so hungry all the time because I didn't feel like I was getting enough sustenance in my in my regular meals. So I would just open up the pantry and just um and just gorge on I just eat my pantry, basically. Jordan, you what in all you, you based on that mention earlier, you have just ruined the phrase open up for the rest of the night. Because <laughs> he said open up the pantry and my mind auto corrected to open up, get on the floor. <laughs> 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 Open it up, get on the floor. Everybody. Every human Sorry. action must now be followed by getting on the floor. And everybody and then walk the dance. The rest is history. <laughs> Anyways, I took a snack break after that, but I've recently uh, been getting into uh, to finding ways to add snacks into meals because I think snacks are like some of the most addictive foods. Yeah. They're pretty addicting. So, uh, we're going to start, unless I am mistaken. Um, I with... have to say one thing. Why is Veggie Sticks on this list, but also the bracket? What? I knew this was gonna happen. Look, it's not like no, it's, it's not like none of the six of us were going to notice. And, and Triscuits. And... Okay, they're, also, they're gone too. Also, uh, also Lay's. Oh no, no, sorry, those are Lay's, Lay's kettle, kettle cooked, cooked, cooked chips. chips. Also, okay, hang on, I really need to ask something. Yes. Are we really gonna have kettle cooked chips? Mick? Three times. Oh, you mean for the battle royale? No, no, no. I mean, we already have kettle cooked chips on the bracket. Do we really no. need two more kettle cooked chips? No, then I rescind the salt and pepper ones. I don't know, Mick. Do we need M and M's and mini M and M's? We salt and ones. I think I put That's them the on. That's the thing. Right? They are definitely two different products because they're sold by the same company. Kettle cooked chips. Kettle cooked chips and kettle cooked chips. Oh, salt and pepper. Let me ask you this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you rescind like, this, I'd say I get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't put them on. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Get, I, I, I could get rid of this one, too. Yeah, get rid of Lay's because salt and pepper. Okay, then, yeah, get it. Yeah, the kettle cooked chips is already on there. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's fine. All right. I'll, I'll, we can, I'll speak on behalf of all kettle chips when we do the bracket. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everything um, else looks like perfectly reasonable. Like, there's not too many things. Com competing for the same, you know. Although it would be funny if we had Lay's potato chips and then Lay's a wavy cut and then <laughs> they fucking in one round went against each other. Listen. Listen. Let's talk also, about wrinkles. I want I want to point out if, if if we're taking out dupes, guys, um I already put Tostitas Tortilla chips on the bracket, so we shouldn't have Oh yeah, chips all right, that's another there. mistake on my end. Uh and it's okay. It's okay. And while we're at it, let's just get rid of Cheetos. Why? why? <laughs> Wait, why? They are pretty why? bad. At no, I was. Wait, whatever. Are you a Cheetos hater? No, I am. I am. Explain yourself, Christian. They just taste bad. 
All right, fair. Uh, <laughs> I can't food. argue more than that. Kind you of the problem with the foodies the... in general is that there's a certain, like, w- once you move beyond, like, restaurants, there's a certain sense you're just like, well, what's your problem with it? It just tastes bad. It's like, well, I can't argue with that. Well, yeah, kind of. I mean, listen, when everyone talks Cheetos, I feel like exclusively Cheetos are only discussed of the Flamin' Hot variety. No, there's, there's, there's the regular ones. Now, are fine. No, I, I, here's the thing. I've never had a Flamin' Hot Cheeto. I've only had Same. a regular Cheeto because I feel like a Flamin' Hot Cheeto would be exa- exactly as described. And therefore, I would not enjoy it. Yeah. Um, I was looking. I, was, I apologize for for doing this horrible, disgusting thing, and I really hope you guys will all for, forgive me. But I was looking at an Applebee's menu yesterday. Ooh, delicious. And Applebee's, I guess, has partnered <clears throat> with Cheetos to sell Cheetos-based products. Like, not like okay. First of all, you can just buy bags of Cheetos from Applebee's, but <laughs> they know their level. <laughs> But like they'll also someone who make knows like place. <laughs> they'll also like make these like cheese puff, uh, like they'll they'll make like I don't know like I guess like a Cheetos mozzarella ball. It does sound disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. You know it know. is very it is very interesting. Like like Applebee's has accepted their place <laughs> and is just like yeah we'll just hand out bags of snacks. Because it's about the same level of the food we actually prepare. I mean, sandwich places do that. I mean, you can find most of these places at a Subway or a... Or a yeah, but it's different from, like, a yeah. sit-down restaurant. No, you're you're right. You are where it's right. it's, like, uh, where the, wait- the waitress comes to the table and it's like, Ah, the bag of Cheetos for you, sir. <laughs> it comes on the platter <laughs> um, with, like... Exactly. <laughs> well, who put, uh, who put Cheetos up? I'd like to hear from them. It was you. Was it me? I think it was yes. you. Yes. Taylor? Yes. Yes! That is your name, right? And not of the Swift variety. Why did Taylor put Cheetos? I mean, Cheetos are good. I, I, I get why Taylor's put, Taylor put Cheetos. Um, why are you talking about yourself? Is it you're not Taylor? Well, because I was speaking on behalf like that I wasn't. I put way too many snacks on here. Um, I like. Here's the deal. When I was a kid, I ate Cheetos, and I got Cheetos dust all over my fingers. And I'm like, oh, dude, awesome. Cheeto fingers. And then I would eat my fingers. I hated um, the Cheeto fingers. I always, like, need to wash my hands immediately after that. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, I hate that's it, too. That's you how I off. am now. Like, now, whenever I get, like, du- like food residue all over my fingers, I'm much more like, I should probably wash my hands. Um, but, like, as a kid, I'm like, oh, it's an extra meal. Uh, so, I'm just, yeah, uh, the, the kids who got Cheeto dust on their fingers used to scare me. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's like, I, uh, I've evolved. Now I think Cheetos are fine. Um, can we cut? Can we get rid of them? Um, why Taylor doesn't seem jazzed about them, so... By the way, uh, in case, just so that everyone knows, this is the Battle Royale, where we decide there's an open yeah. spot, we're gonna narrow some of the other things down to figure out exactly what's gonna go in this slot. Christian, why is popcorn is also on the bracket? I, it is? I'm a, yeah. Oh, well, alright. Look, I, apparently nobody updated their entries at all. Um, so that's no, why, that's no, why apparently like not. Um, <clears throat> uh, the last thing I'll say about Cheetos is that they made a puff flavored Cheeto and Those it's, are the best it, it is, huh? Those are the best kinds of Cheetos in my opinion. Oh, you like the puff more? Yeah, I like the puffs too, actually. Yeah. The puffs make me feel like yeah. a disgusting goblin and I just, I, I just hate <laughs> Cheetos. I just fucking hate Christian, them. follow up to all the, aden- the additions and subtractions you're making. Since we have Wise Popcorn on there, do we need microwavable popcorn? Yes, Taylor, that's up to your... Well, actually, if a lot of people really want it gone, let's, then... Let's, no, 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 let's not... Let's, well, all, right, all, right, all right, look. Before we before we get rid of microwavable popcorn... they It is different in it's my opinion. It's fundamentally different. Yeah. We'll keep it. Yeah, I mean, like, there is... There is an... It, microwave popcorn is not just a food. It's an activity. There's a certain charm to... Slapping some popcorn in a in a microwave and here. Like when you <laughs> when you watch a movie at home, are you not super excited to get at your microwavable popcorn? Honestly, yeah, that's actually pretty boss. In some yeah. ways it is more inconvenient because like there's butter all over the sides of the bag and it gets on your fingers and it's, it's like that. Yeah, but you're not but you're not popping open like the wise bag of like popcorn like while you're watching a movie and being like, ah yes cinema <laughs> divine well, you know not? what it's like is that at that point the wise bag is just the same as any other snack but microwavable popcorn <laughs> is an like, experience 
Yeah, I mean, look. I wouldn't I, mind mm, microwavable popcorn on this list. Here's 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 what I'll, here's how here's why I'll vouch against it for a moment. I'll I'll play devil's advocate. I buy microwavable popcorn all the time because I enjoy it. I enjoy heating up a bag. I enjoy scraping the popcorn against the butter that's in the bag. Which is tasty. I, I will give it that. The, the problem is every – I can never find an opportunity to make it. Mm. So what ends up happening is I'll buy a box of, of microwavable popcorn, and then it will expire. <laughs> I well, I guess it depends on like how readily available is your microwave and how often are you just watching things. I guess it really well, that's, depends. That's the thing is like, what generally ends up happening is, I I eat bigger meals now, so it's like when I eat microwavable popcorn, you have to eat microwavable popcorn the day of. You can't save it; it just doesn't no. taste good the day yeah. after. So yeah. if you're making microwavable popcorn, you need to eat the whole bag. <laughs> and I'm like, do I want a whole bag of microwavable popcorn right now? But they make so it's like the portion make, control is off. But they make the microwavable popcorn that comes like with half the bag or whatever. They make ones that are smaller. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do that. I mean, do they? <laughs> they do. Um, at, at least they used to. I like I like the idea that it's advertised as half the bag popcorn. Well, I think yes. like, oh, it's like popcorn minis it's for the, the bag bag. radical. Um, I, I would I would also just like to make a. Like, I know I don't actually really have a... I Like, I can't vote. I'm the host. Whatever. Um, I would just like to throw this in just, just just to consider. Me, personally, I don't like bagged popcorn. Okay. Like, as in, like, like, like the Wise Air Pop... Really, any popcorn that I have to buy in a bag, except for kettle corn. You prefer um, it in a carton, then? What? <laughs> I imagine a tiny little milk carton with the fucking... Yeah. Yeah. five popcorn yeah, in there. Yeah, Here's the thing. You popcorn. laugh. That's how they... That's how you buy goldfish. They sell goldfish in a <laughs> carton. Right. So, I so that you, with with a little lip, so that you can pour it, <laughs> which is great because that's how I eat it by the cup. It's, it's like and they the say M&M obesity isn't a problem in this country. It's like the M and M minis. You chug it down like a shot. Yeah. Like yeah, crap. but I feel like chugging M and M minis is safer. If I chug too much popcorn, I'm gonna just get a kernel stuck in my throat. Well, that happened to me in the army once. Or. or <laughs> You, you know what the other thing about... I'm sorry. What, what did you say? Uh, <laughs> no, what did you say, genuinely? Private browsing, reporting for duty. <laughs> I just said the worst thing ever, but it's okay. I right, definitely I'll missed I'll... it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be... Um, Can we get rid of Cheetos now? Pretty cute. Yeah, Cheetos. Can we... This... we already kind of talked about that. Can we get rid of it? Uh, can... Well... Does anyone else feel strongly about Cheetos? Let's put it that way. I hate Cheetos. So. Well, in that case, let's get rid of it. <laughs> well, that's fine. That. If that's how y'all feel. You know well, we're at it. Doritos, too. They get the boot. Wait, okay, hold wait, on. Hold wait, on. Wait, hold wait, on. Yeah. Wait, yeah, the Doritos wait. fan club's coming I'm, in. I might be on Clank's side. Doritos, but flattened. I don't want to hear it. Doritos. Flattened. Hmm. Flattened. I don't have them often, but they something make... about a nacho cheese Dorito is kind of rad, got to say. They make like a good cheese. substitute for Tostitos when you are out of Tostitos to eat your, yeah. eat your taco meat. It's not high art, but like uh, nacho cheese Doritos. It, they used to make like the baked versions of them, which were also really nice and had a good texture. But like... I only really like the Cool Ranch ones, to be honest. Oh, we are of warring factions. Radical. I, don't um, know, good. I didn't know it had to end like this, Jordan, but so be it. <laughs> it's <laughs> not all right. Uh, it's it's really a, you're 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 one or the other really. I don't, I've never met anybody that really likes both. But it's like, true, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can we get rid of Lay's wavy cut because it's just inferior Lay's potato chips? Um, hang on, that's factually untrue. Again, can we talk about wrinkles? No. All right, they're bad. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna start talking about wrinkles now. I can't stop you. If you wrinkle a chip, it is scientifically proven to be better because the texture is more fun. Genie, back me up. I mean, listen, I like wavy cut, but that's because I don't really like chips. Like, I don't really like any chips that aren't plain. So I like the idea of 
having variety in the sense that I could have a fucking yet like the yellow bag of lays, or I could be like, oh, I'm feeling different today, and pick up like the wavy cut and like feel a little bit special. But like that's because I'm like an asshole picky eater. Like I don't know. <laughs> but like everything you're saying is exactly why I would go with the wavy cut. Like a bo- like a, a basic lays is boring. Here's. I think the the regular potato chip, like the yellow one, is like good for snacking, and the wavy ones are good for when you have like French onion dip next to you, and that's like I, I very particular to me, circumstances. The, to me, they're the same. It just depends on if I'm eating them with dip or not. Because uh, the wavy, I don't ever have the my chips chip with dip. Won't snap in half when you put it in the um in the French onion dip, where the regular chip will because it's more like brittle. I just like the way it feels, the texture. Yeah, I just like the tech. I mean, I uh, I most I most closely associate these with ruffles. Oh, yeah, I know those are good. I like those. Oh. I mean, okay, that's Christian. a that's a strong reaction, Christian. I do not like wavy chips. I hate wavy chips. You don't like the uh, you don't. You just don't I, like I like them actually. I like to feel the waves of the ocean. I mean, Christian, Christian imagine don't for worry, you're not alone. Okay, um, imagine glad. for a moment, Christian, that you had an elastic chip. And you just folded it over and over and over again. I don't that's, want that's, that. That, that. That's wavy cut. I don't want that. Chip. I want a chip that's thin and plain. And then I'm going to put the whole thing in my mouth. It's going to be. going to fall apart in my mouth. You can still do that, but when you run it up, when you run your tongue up against it, it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. But it's whoa. It's thicker, and it's annoying, and it doesn't taste good. Like, can I? I like. Uh, I'll I'll play a little devil's advocate for Christian, even though I actually agree with his position. Um, but I'll just throw this in there. Christian, would you say that your complaint is that there's too much chip per chip? I mean, I guess it you is- can kind of say that. Can I can I ask a question really quick? Are we including like dips that go with the chip in this bracket, or are we I just- don't think so. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna do a hard pass on that. Okay, so then if that's the case, then like for me, there's literally no difference between the wavy cut and the regular chip. So I have no way if it's one way or the other. Is the regular probably, on the bracket? The regular is on the bracket. Yeah, then, yeah, then fine. Cut it anyway, yeah. So. Um, oh, by the way, Christian, you missed uh, you missed two of Clanky's entries. How? Hold on. Oh no, because we agreed we agreed brownie bites wouldn't get on. Yeah, but you so. you for you for you forgot um you forgot anything that's in his uh, that his sisters have. Oh yeah, lint. <laughs> that's in a house <laughs> there you find those in I wanna, houses I'd like to put Clanky's sister's snacks on the bracket I okay I put that in as like a cheeky joke because most of the time when I go downstairs it's not like I'm like oh thank god I bought my Takis it's like oh I guess my stepmom bought this snack for the girls well there's a lot left I'll take them back yeah okay. um so I don't love granola <laughs> 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 Look, it, it was I, exactly that on the bracket, or I'm, I, that's what I'm voting for. <laughs> <laughs> like, and how do you argue? You how do you argue in there. He's not put that, that in there. No, I'm a what'd changed you, man, Jordan. What do you okay, think? So oh, yeah. I'm so I'm the host. Can I actually do the thing because I actually don't know what this is, and I feel like it's important. What the hell is Hormel pepperoni and salt themes? All right, before I answer that, Jeannie, did you say something just now? And I was just gonna say, like, how do you argue for like whatever his sisters have in the house? Like, <laughs> it's a gamble. It's a it's a wild card. It's really it's a good... <laughs> are we are we like calling to see like what's well, going on? You know what on? we do? We we go down to Clanky's pantry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most food place. Fuck it. You know? Can I just say that? See what she has in the house. I have to say that would have been such a better like battle royale thing, which is to just like wait. Day of, Clinky goes down to his cupboard, <laughs> takes a photo of it, and says, "All right, here's what we have." Do you want to go do that, Clinky? I would well, be, I would be so there, down. There and that we're not at his house. No. Oh. What? Well, I said I'm gonna text my sister now and ask her to go downstairs and tell me. What's oh my god. Yeah, I, listen, even if we don't vote for it, I feel like that is what we have to do. We'll keep the rest of these because what if it's a dupe? So we'll keep. Yeah. The rest. Well, yeah. In the meantime, let me explain. Um. So, this one time, I don't remember if I bought them at the store or they were just in the house, but I had these circular saltines. They weren't, they weren't your, your normal square saltine. They were circular. No. They were spherical, if you will. 
I think spherical it means it would circular, be like 360. Spherical yeah, would yeah. be a ball. Yeah, yeah, you know. And I know the joke. I know the joke. I just I, yeah. I know. I just break. I had Drake and Josh on the mind. Um, oh, yeah. What do you know? And I also had five slices of pepperoni. And I and, and in in that moment, not six, not four. This this my brain made this connection. What if? What if? I put the pepperoni on the saltine and then put another saltine on the pepperoni. And then you make a pepperoni saltine sandwich. And so, it's the greatest thing ever. It kind of reminds and, me of these things I usually eat around Thanksgiving time where it's like, uh, you know, it's like, like... Like those platters of like chips and uh, or like crackers and uh, like yeah. meat. Crackers, pretzels, pastrami, like... You know. Yeah, like you go. Yeah, like they have. Um, like you yeah. buy a. Uh, you can buy these things at like Shoprite, where you'll get like a a, a cracker, pepperoni, <laughs> cheese plate. Yeah, and you can... so it's called a charcuterie board. Charcuterie. Yeah. Right, but I didn't do it charcuterie style. I did it Taylor has these snacks style. Um, okay. So wait, hang on a minute. Did you put on your list, like, just. Like a like, it's a, not a snack food that like actually like exists. Like I can't buy. No, yeah, that's why I couldn't put it in my top three. Okay, I'm like, fair enough. Fair enough. So I what is a point. Hormel then? A uh, Hormel, Hormel is, is the brand of pepperoni. Yes. Okay. Hormel here's a who. Um, no, I mean, Hormel like... is also a prostitute named Melvin. I think. I like the idea of uh, just Hormel pepperoni. Not even touch it. <laughs> Just I like the, Mel. I think the next one I'm willing to want to put on the chopping block would probably be uh chocolate chip granola bars i'm not a huge granola guy either it's been a while for me and i i wouldn't like shrug too much of it if it left these used to be great for when i like needed breakfast in the morning and yeah. i was like in high school and i just ran out of the house yeah they're well, just a, they're an old reliable kind of thing you know you know what yeah. someone host while i i'm gone i'm gonna grab another quaker's granola bar because i've already had three today and i want another oh. All right, God. you know what? That's enough. That's enough to say. Let's keep it. What about no, no, no. Maybe... I don't vote. It doesn't matter. Well, click well, Eugenie, your Eugenie, Eugenie Maybe also you'll override all us support it. Um, oh, you guys don't like granola either. I'm I mean, I don't. It. I can go. Take it away. Yeah. It's like it's like a it's like a whatever thing for me. You know, yeah. I I really feel no strong way one way or the other. Last things last, the triple berry shock gushers. All right, do you guys like gushers? Yes. I don't particularly think so. Okay. Well, it's been a while, but have yeah. you had a gusher? been a long time <laughs> all right are they the things that like when you bite into them like then juice comes out of them yeah uh -huh. it's just more okay. annoying fruit snacks what do you mean annoying fruits you put it you put a fruit snack on here first of all exactly because i like yeah. fruit snacks i don't want an yeah. inferior annoying version of fruit Fuck snacks you. I don't think the they're inferior, dude. dude this is you you have a fruit snack you bite into it and you just get a you get a burst of sour flavor. Here's the thing, I love sour shit. I mean, I and do love sour if, patch kids. So and there and mm -hmm. here's a snack that if I bite into it, I get sour. And it's not like, it's not like a mild sour. Like it's a re, it's a good sour. Like it's actually sour. Like there are so many things that advertise themselves as sour and then proceed to not be sour. But triple berry shot gushers are like, <laughs> you eat enough of them and your tongue will hurt. It's I'm great. Actually, I'm actually not a huge fan of that. I'm realizing now I like Sour Patch Kids more for the sweet and the gone part than the sour part. Oh, um, boring. So I'm still not a huge fan of Triple Berry Shockers, but if it's Can I just say, I just got back, I got back just in time to hear Christian say that he prefers this sweet and gone part with, uh, to the sour <laughs> part, which means that you prefer no uh, candy <laughs> to the sour candy. I mean, maybe, but I, I'm, like I'm not that, a huge yeah. big supporter, but what does everyone else think? Here, here's the deal. If, if at this stage of the game, if I had to pick one of these things, what I'd be picking is a. a I'd be, I feel like the group collectively would probably get the most out of microwavable popcorn, but me, Taylor, would probably get the most out of pepperoni and saltines. But that's, but that might be cheating. Does anyone that's, object to me deleting this? The triple berry shock gushers. No, I hate gushers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna delete it. And I think we can probably vote with this unless we want to wait for uh, whatever 
feel like he's just in time with his house. <laughs> my sister might very well be asleep right now, so I think we're just going to have to go off my memory. And if I remember, late. in my closet right now, there are... Um, Bodies. No. <laughs> no. Uh... Oh, there's like the the famous Amos like cookie packs. Okay. There's the um. There are the. Uh... Not how you spell Amos. Oh uh, well, you know. Dangerously close. <laughs> <out>. Well, they're <laughs> away from Amos. <laughs> Amos, well, it's, Amos. It's the famous Amos cookies. The um. There are like off-brand veggie sticks, and yeah. then there's like really really crumbly veggie vix. And uh, <laughs> so true. And there's like those crumpled up bags of those really tiny bags of like barbecue Doritos. So when you open the bag, it's just basically like a powdering dust. <laughs> uh, if Honestly, we put this, if we put this in, I will include. It. For that. I will include all of this on the on the on the entry slot. If Jordan, wait, wait, Christian, I thought you couldn't change it. Oh, oh no, I learned after 2018 that you can oh. change it. Uh, so. Doritos is spelled two different ways on this list. Doritos. <laughs> no, but that's what that's Doritos. what they have. I vote for whatever this is. No, I <laughs> honestly famous Amos. Like when I... you... I'll spell this right. Someone will tell me how this is spelled, and I'll, I'll spell it right. Amos. 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 There we go. <laughs> so I vote I... for this. What? Um, that's the that's the push vote. Um. <laughs> What I like I said earlier, I'm a changed man. Oh, it's too little too late. I don't care if it, what what it is. I'm voting we for this. We still have a resentment, you fool. Look, I uh, appreciate Christian for sticking to his guns, and I almost want to stand in solidarity. I'm also voting for that. Oh my god. We just need one more person to vote for it and it gets on the bracket. I mean I already said I'm voting for it, and I think I'm the most staunch supporter. So. Hang on. So wait, wait, majority rule. Christian, oh, wait, wait. So Christian, are we putting Clanky's pantry on the bracket? Is we're going to put the text Hold on, here. Christian. Christian. Yeah. What fucking asset do I use for that? Um, I'll you'll find something funny, I'm sure, I'll right? Take the, oh, you the, didn't think of that when Pussgate happened, did yeah. you? Puss has plenty of assets. Puss is Jordan. one thing. This is Jordan. an assortment of things. Jordan, Jordan, I'll throw something together for you. Jordan. Oh, I can yeah, just, okay. Jordan, listen, I can just take a picture of the closet. Oh. <laughs> that also All works. right, I guess we'll do it your way. Fine. All right. Wait, is this really happening? Majority rules. But how is this gonna work? Bill, and if, and if, you, if you don't give, it the, give me that asset, I'll just put the puss cover on it. It's great. Hold on. This is my fault too, because I'm like, hey, Christian, you forgot this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Wait, so my stars. Do you guys genuinely prefer this to any other thing? I gotta know. Well, there's no real winners the rest of this, honestly. I do prefer this over everything here, though. My second vote would have gone for um, uh, for microwavable popcorn. Yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah, say. I feel like too. microwavable popcorn made, would make sense for this bracket, personally. Yeah, me too. Does anyone but... want to change their vote before I hit enter? Before I'm, get, I'm gonna type real slowly. Well, the thing is, it's it's just me and Taylor, and so it would be only really you changing your vote, Christian. Unless Clanky or Genie change their vote. And Clanky I... or Genie, are you sure about this? I I think I am. And Genie, you're sure about this? Yeah, I'm. I hold to my conviction. Majority... And Christian, you're sure about this? Of course, I'm sure about this. Uh, majority rules. <laughs> this is fucking entry. sure. Last food, Liz. Let's no let's go now. Christian, you also still spelt Amos wrong. <laughs> you told me to spell it like this. What the fuck? A M O U S. Nobody said you. Oh, Christian, A -M -O -S, you Christian, A -M -O -S. Christian, will you at the very least change it to Clanky's Pantry? I will. I will put a it, subtitle at the beginning. Oh wait, that's actually no. It's, sorry, it's, Christian. It's A M O S. I told you. Yeah. Oh not, no, no, that is actually spelled correct, Christian. Can't believe not this. Not mouse. So it's Call it among us, like a normal person. Clanky's oh, pantry. Fuck off. <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. <laughs> okay. What is going on? All right, let's continue as uh, planned. Yes, yeah, so as if nothing's out of the way. Right, well, guys, you have to actually vote for what you truly believe is best. I always me. vote for what I truly believe, and I never mean. Bull fucking shit. 
So, without further ado, we're going up to round one. <gasps> and in this corner, we have Annie's Bunny Grams. And in this corner, Cape Cod Kettle Cooked uh, <laughs> Chips. <laughs> All the way from Massachusetts. <laughs> You're amusing me. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, He's like, a, like a king talking to his jester. I basically am his jester at this point. So I hope none of you like a do because without any further of it, <laughs> who wants to start? I who like put bun- who, who put bunny grams up. I did, but I like I like kettle cooked chips more. So this is a little rough for the. Party. Uh, you go first, Jeannie. Um, I mean, I I like I like. Bunny grams, you know. I like Teddy grams too. I just I prefer the bunny grams ultimately. And a bunny gram is just a graham cracker. Yeah, I mean, like they're the equip. They're like a they're like oh, a animal cracker. Kind of like Teddy grams. Well, it's, oh, it's Annie Gra- It's Annie's brand, right? Right. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Annie. No, I think I had her mac and cheese. Yeah, it's like the yeah, same. That's the thing. They, they make mac and cheese as well as graham crackers. Yeah, that's truly, that's a wide range. They're very they're very varied. Um, yeah. Like, this... um, there's a, quite a few different flavors. They're pretty good. I can't complain. I'm yeah. not really like, I'm not really like a snack person, so I kind of had to scrounge for like stuff that I like eat. So that's kind of well. They're pretty good, I gotta say. Like, I, I haven't I, had them in years, but yeah. Good. I just it's I a like very five year old Taylor food. Yeah. Well, Annie's, if I remember correction, they also make like a like a goldfish style, but with the bunnies as well, right? Yeah, yeah. they do. I've had it. It's yeah, very good. Um, Different type of cheddar. I. I think I put Cape Cod kettle cooked chips, right? I, I think, think so. I, so, I really like the there. That's my favorite, like generic chip. I feel like it's the perfect yeah. size. It's the perfect amount of crunchy, and they're very salty. I like yes, the Cape sir. Cod specifically because it's like sea salt, and yeah, uh, and that makes a difference. I don't know how, but it does. So no, you're everything you've said is one hundred percent correct. Yeah, so I I just really like the Cape Cod chips. I don't really have much else to say other than like if they're in like. If they're in my pantry, then I will be eating. <laughs> How similar are Cape Cod kettle cooked chips to plain, regular, unscathed, I, okay, pure I can imagine a potato I chip? Potato chip, except like it's a bit crunchier and a bit like harder. A bit crunchier? Yeah. Christian, oh, have you deducted a hundred points? Christian, Christian, Aww. have you never had kettle cooked chips before? It's been a long time. I think I got them at school at some point, like baked lays and stuff like that. You mean? It's no, it's not like baked not lays. They're not baked. Yeah. Well, then I probably they're... never had kettle cooked chips before. The baked no, ones it's... are like the thin ones, but like these ones are like tiny and crunchy. Um, is I'm trying to think of anything. Um, I'm it's try... it's like um it's like a beer battered chip in a way. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It's really crispy and really good. I'm trying to think, cause, like, it's really kind of hard to describe, like, what the distinction is, unless right? I were to no, say just... they're, they're, <laughs> uh, un- un- unless I say, like, they're kettle cooked. Yeah. Um, I mean, it really just comes down to, do I, am I okay with kettle cooked as opposed to bu- the, the bunny grams, which I had, uh, like, <laughs> fucking 50 years ago. Uh, um, you're 50? <laughs> So, if Christian, if you're unsure if you've had a kettle cooked chip, you probably haven't had a kettle cooked chip. That's probably fair. I I like them because there's a different sort of crunch and taste to them than regular chip. There's more to actually do instead of just like, okay, let's chip, it's over. Like, there's more going on, more heft. When when I have a potato chip, I need the wrinkles. Yeah. Wait, are these wrinkly? No, they're not. Not really. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying a Cape Cod chip on its own. Like, you don't need to do anything special to a Cape Cod chip to make it a good chip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Cape basically... Cod's a very good brand. Uh, I'm, I'm, try- I'm really trying to think of uh, the best way to describe kettle chips to Christian. The problem is I'm not a huge snack person either, so I have, like, right. no comparisons. All right, so Christian, you get a kettle. Okay. Did you, oh, think, of the the Did you think of a step okay. two? <laughs> so the the so the actual way it's made is that um you fry the you fry the chips in like batches. Um ow. Um sorry. Uh the my timer just went off. Um Ah uh, happens. For four minutes. Anyway. Um so the kettle 
kettle chips are like um, they're they're fried in batches and uh, like they're dip they're basically left in hot oil for a really long period of time. Yeah. Um, they're um, they're crunchier, but not like a hard in a way. Like it's it like, um, but they they um, they're more they're brittle. They're more brittle. I think I think it's fair to say they're much more oily. Yeah, I agree with that. I yeah, like but based like, off your descriptions. I'm not really keen on either of these things. I think Christian, if I had to be honest, you'd probably if even if you wouldn't enjoy both of these, you'd probably enjoy the Cape Cod chip more because yeah. it's something that's where I'm that's where I'm leaning. But yeah. like, familiar with. Yeah, I, I feel brand, Christian. I think. Like, like Cape Cod chips could be like an, a very in and out experience for you. Like you have one and you're like, oh, wow, this one time I've had it has made it one of my favorite chips. Maybe we, we would have to see if I ever end up getting them at some point. But yeah. and also, I will say that Cape Cod chips are one of um, a few entries on this list that were staples at the Moore store at purchase and. If I was really craving something at late at night, I would get a bag of the Cape Cod. They had like a lattice cut kind of like sea salt. Yeah. Really oh, good. that's fun. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try one more time. Christian, if you <laughs> see, you may have seen them. They're usually, they're not like, they're usually less than yellow and they're, they tend more towards a uh, sort of more brownish or caramelized sort of hue. You know what? I was going to say Let me save you some trouble. Um, and pull up another tab and look this up. Okay. Yeah. What were you saying? What did you say, Taylor? <laughs> oh no, I was gonna say earlier. I was thinking of saying it's almost caramelized, but I'm like, that doesn't make sense. A caramel chip? I couldn't make that comparison. Not in the sense, not, not in the sense of like caramel in terms of like the stuff you get in like candy, but in the sense of like you know like um you know like you'll you can describe like meat as being caramelized or like an like caramelized onions too. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. I guess I've never understood why people call it caramelized. Um, I mean, I... I, I, I like it, but I don't get it. Um... <laughs> Honestly, it's a discussion for another day. Um, yeah, probably. But, um... I was just gonna say, I looked up, uh, I looked up the chips, and I'm ready to vote. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta come out with, uh, um... In order. Um, let's go down the list, I guess. Um, uh, Taylor. Taylor? Um, I love Cape Cod kettle cooked chips. I love kettle cooked chips. Um, I, I I used to have them like every night, twice a day um, for, at, at my first college. Uh, and they go a very long way to make me happy. So those. Christian. I, uh... I looked up Cape Cod Kettle Cooked Chips, and close enough, I guess. Um, I'll vote for them. Okay. Right. Jordan? I... I've always really, really liked kettle chips, guys, so I've got to go with the Cape Cod. All right. Uh, and Clanky? Uh, it's going to be Cape Cod Kettle Cooked Chips for me. And for Jeannie? Uh, Jeannie is also going to be voting for the Cape Cod Kettle Cooked Chips. It's actually 05. Uh, you know, oh, rever can you reverse? Excuse me. <laughs> Drinking play the, play the Hawaii Five O theme backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> and, and I'll be honest, if we get copyright struck for that, I mean, well played. <laughs> Algorithms. <laughs> yeah. So, round two. Ritz crackers versus. Hang on, I need to pull up. Clanky's <laughs> <laughs> pantries, famous, famous, famous. Christian, what's the full thing? Okay, so the full it thing cuts is. Off for me. Just Clanky's pantry, famous Amos cookie packs, off-brand veggie sticks, crumpled up bags of barbecue Doritos that are powder and dust. You can get the full title by hovering your mouse over the thing. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Clunky's Pantry, famous Amos cookie packs, off-brand veggie sticks, covered <laughs> bags of barbecue Doritos that are powder and dust. This is a family guy show. Is okay. there a okay. thing gag? Let me do the announcement again. Okay. okay. Round two. Ritz crackers versus Clunky's Pantry, famous Amos cookie packs, off-brand veggie sticks, covered <laughs> bags of barbecue Doritos that are powder and dust. 
So who wants to <laughs> I'm just gonna say one thing. One. Clanky's pantry sucks. <laughs> what? So why'd you put it on the bracket? What the fuck did you just say to me, you little <laughs> I'll so have you know that I graduated top of my class of the Navy SEALs. This really is a family guy bet. I, I'm this looking at all the it. things, and the only Tita, thing there's nothing in on. the pantry but I mean, famous Avis just... cookie packs, all oh. brown veggie sticks, and crumbled up bags of Pete McHugh the Rita. So my opinion on this is that obviously, like, the Ritz are gonna win, but the fact that the pantry gets to linger in the loser's <laughs> bracket probably until the end of this. Because that we just know it's gonna happen. I mean, Memes. you really can, funny. can one of you describe to me what a famous Avis cookie cookie pack is, and that might save it. Christian, have you ever had have you ever had a chocolate chip cookie before? Okay, never mind. Clanky's pantry's kind of pog. No, but we agreed that oh. cookies don't don't get to be on here. Oh, should I edit the entry so it doesn't have the cookie packs? <laughs> it's on the bracket. I'll I'll do it. If, if we're not counting it, we probably shouldn't have this the cookies Foodies there. This is already a failure. So, Let's Christian, see. okay. Imagine imagine a chocolate chip cookie, except the size of a quarter, and was designed by... Uh, oh, and, and, I know those things. Hold on. Let me, yeah. let me look this up and, and see it, if it's... It thing tastes I should... like it's been through the wash about five times. Like it's been through the wash. <laughs> yeah, and they, and they were designed by the guy who... Uh, um, first signed Simon and Garfunkel for the first record deal. That's oh, great. Nice. Oh, I've had these. These suck. <laughs> <laughs> this is not looking good for Clancy's fan <laughs> What are you talking about? They suck. I just, I, no, because you know what it is? It's it, you, Who said that they're like a quarter? That's like that's the problem. Like, they're who like... They need to be big. Yeah, but they come in like six a pack, so, so you're getting like the value. You of know what else six. comes in six a pack? Oreos. Can I get something straight? I actually don't mind cookies in this format. There was another brand of cookie that I was thinking of that is, is sort of any? like like that size, but it's like a different brand. I don't remember what it is. But it... The, um, are you thinking of the Entenmann cookies, like the the mushy ones? No, I'm thinking of no. Like, those are delicious. Oh, or are you thinking about um the size of a famous Amos, but like you know. It, it was a blue bag. I'm pretty sure. Hey, hey guys. Oh, I know the I know the ones you're talking about. I can't remember what it was anyway. Um, in in, in my process to remind myself what a famous Amos cookie is, um, I came across a link to Audible.com and an audiobook by Wallace Famous Amos. Yeah. No, he's a he's a really yeah. fascinating person. As I mentioned, he was like the talent agent that signed Simon and Garfunkel. Well, that must have been um, really awkward. Because they do their song where it's like, you know, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. He's like, fuck that shit. None of those can go in cookies. You're out of here. Yeah. He's, he also hosted a television program about teaching adults how to read. <laughs> Episode one. Like it's in fact for Cookie. And Cookie is in fact for me. <laughs> yeah. For the other elements of Clanky's Pantry, uh, not never had a veggie stick in my life, but they never really well, no, And off, no, hang on. An off-brand veggie stick. Veggie sticks oh, are already brand, good. Uh, yeah. Real those veggie sticks kind of suck. I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil my opinions on veggie sticks. Never had them before, and not really interested in having one. Um, and I think his pantry is getting worse by the minute. And I never oh eat God. the powder in a Doritos bag. <laughs> yeah, you could you could snort it. Do you snort it, Clanky? How you you got me? <laughs> now something about that sounded insincere. I, 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 I sense that you don't actually snort the crumpled up bags of barbecue Doritos that are powder and dust. I usually try to avoid them because when I eat a bag of chips, I enjoy eating chips. So here's my question then. Why do you keep the bag in the pantry then? Because it's, it, you know how, all right. So you know how they have those like variety packs of chips where it comes with like, you know, the Doritos and then the Cheetos and then like the Fritos and then like the Lay's and the pretzels, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, so, like, those get, like, we buy those, and then we put them in, like, a box mixed with, like, all the other chip snacks, right? So when, like, they go to school or whatever, and they, like, take lunch, they can just grab, like, one of the bags. So, like, the idea is that they just take the ones that they like, and they don't like the barbecue ones, so they leave them at the bottom, and since they're in there forever, they just kind of get crumpled up, and then a new bag of, like, a new series of, like, chips goes on top of the bag, or on top of the box, and then all those get taken, and then they just kept get, they keep getting, like, more and more crushed from the other bags of chips that are constantly put on them. And okay, no see, here's what I was thinking. I was thinking that it was a big bag 
that you like you don't eat in one sitting. So you open up a big bag of uh, barbecue Doritos. You get to like the last couple of chips. Then you put a seal on the bag. You leave it in there, and then you just have this used bag of chips in there for years. And you're like, hey, do, do we want to throw out these chips? They're getting stale. Like, nah. Let no. them ferment. I mean, it is. It, I guess it Let is kind ferment. of a concept, except the bags never open because they're part of, like, those tiny variety packs. Oh, no. Like, yeah, that sounds a lot better because in the initial description of that, I'm like, oh, so your sisters accidentally bring, like, a three-year-old bag of chips with them. And, like, no, they- yum. They just never get eaten, so they stay there forever. Okay, That yeah. explanation went on way longer than it needed to, considering we already established what the truth was. I was just trying to explain it. Um, yeah. I have a question about Ritz crackers. I'm not yeah. talking about you specifically, Clinky. I'm talking about both of you. I spaced out. Have we started talking about Ritz crackers yet? Um, no. Well, I just, I, I'd like to ask a question. Are we counting um, Ritz bits? In the Ritz crackers? What's a Ritz bits? Uh, I mean, if we just ambiguated between M&M's and mini M&M's, then we probably shouldn't count Ritz well, crackers. Well, no, Ritz no, bits. no, because it's not just a mini Ritz. It's um, it's a Ritz cheese, cheese cracker. cracker. It's um, it's you put oh, you put things. you put like Ritz cheese in the middle of two mini Ritz bits. Um, and it's not and it's not custom made. It's like a brand. Um, like yeah, Ritz cheese. Yeah, no, I remember those. I know, I know what you're talking about. I and mean, if we're... we can include those as part of that. I doesn't, it doesn't matter too much to me. But I don't really like those, so yeah. I'm going to be thinking of like the regular Ritz. Yeah, okay. I, 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 I a regular, regular Ritz, Ritz person. You a will... regular Ritz is a very addictive cracker. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's it, 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 sometimes I don't even think of them as crackers because they're super sweet. They're they're very buttery, and that's what makes yeah, them. Yeah, the whole thing. They're like the Auntie Anne's of crackers. Yeah, right. exactly. Um, and I love them. I think they're great. I have, um, whenever I go to my folks for Thanksgiving, like, there's just a trough of Ritz crackers. I'm like, yeah, all right, you guys have the turkey. I'm going to just eat a couple more of these. Yeah. I'm not, I'm a, I'm a mid Ritz, Ritz guy. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm putting on the Ritz, you know? But, like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't ever seek out Ritz. They just um, end up places and they're there and they're pretty good. They're good to, 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 put a handful of something on you know like like you know they're, they're good with soup i think or it's also it's mostly saltines but like there's the ritz also work or they're good with cheeses and yeah. they're good with lots they're, they're multi-purpose which is why i can't really think of a single purpose they're just they're good for everything i do think ritz might be one of the most annoying like snacks at this entire bracket to eat because they might be like the crummiest fucking chip yeah not a ritz not 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 crummy as in like bad. Crummy as in they drop fucking crumbs everywhere. No, and I'm saying not a Ritz. I think yeah, a Ritz is a very clean cracker. No, no, Ritz no they they get crummy. crummy. Yeah. Really? I not, I not crummy as in bad. Yeah, but no, like... no, no, no. You just explained it to me. I just I remember a Ritz <laughs> cracker like because like a Ritz cracker is almost like how do I say this? Like you know, like an air popped cracker. <laughs> Yeah. Like, no, not an air puff. Like, okay, like, you know a cheese's puff? A, a Cheetos puff? Yeah. And, like, like how a Cheetos puff is not does not leave as many crumbs because it's, like, it's not hollow, but, like, it's, like, do you, you know the texture of biting into a puff? Here's the thing. I will grant you that it is less crumbly than a, <laughs> say, a saltine, but not yes. by much. Yeah, I'm me, just saying, my like, experience is I bite into a Ritz and a torrent of fucking crumbs pour down onto my shirt. Um, I mean, maybe that happens to me. I, I, it's been a while since I've had one, but I just remember them being poofier and therefore cleaner. I mean, it actually, it really doesn't doesn't matter too much because I am ready to vote. But uh, all right, okay. Let's... If you're ready to vote, if is everyone ready to vote? Because yeah, that, I suppose so. I think Very so. True. All right. So, Taylor, <laughs> um, you'll see this in the recording. As mm-hmm. uh, as what? as as fascinating as Clanky's Pantry, famous Amos cookie packs, off-brand veggie sticks, crumpled up bags, of barbecue Doritos that are powder and dust sound. Um, I don't really want anything from Clanky's Pantry, famous Amos cookie packs, off-brand veggie sticks, crumpled up bags of barbecue Doritos that are powder and dust. I meanwhile will constantly eat an entire box of Ritz. At the very least, the cheese flavored Ritz Bits crackers. But I would I would eat a sleeve of Ritz crackers too. Ritz crackers are incredibly addictive. Those. Um. 
The longer I look at Clanky's Pantry, Famous Amos, Cookie Packs, Off-Brand Veggie Sticks, Crumpled Up Bags of Barbecue Doritos that are powdery dust, Christian. I... I find that... It just looks worse the more I look at it. <laughs> like... The only thing that can save it is the Famous Amos Cookie Packs, and we don't even know if we're counting those. So, like... I've eaten plenty of packs of Ritz in my life. It's not really a contest. Sorry, Clanky, your pantry sucks. I'm voting for Ritz. It's me, right? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, in that case, uh, we're going over to Jordan. I, uh... I don't know. I, I, I don't know if you could tell by when I was running it down before in this, but Ritz crackers are good, but I don't have a lot of strong feelings for them but at the same time honestly Jordan, here let me provide you with an answer it's going yes. up against whatever random shit is in clanky's pantry well clearly yeah then i have to vote for Riz. all right so uh clanky uh yeah i mean haha -ha, funny meme answer but i'm voting for ritz <laughs> okay and genie I'm voting for Ritz. Okay, cool. Oh, so, the five O's. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ritz Crackers moves on to round two. I thought at least one of you would pity your own pantry. They don't well, live my together. pantry. No, no, I know, but I imagine Jeannie g comes over a lot. No, I mean... <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. That's why Clanky comes to you, right? Because his pantry sucks. There's no pantry. <laughs> There's no yeah, pantry. It's exclusively because of the pantry. Yeah. So, moving on to, not round three, but whatever we're calling yeah, it. Yeah, this um, three. Match three. Match yeah. three. We have Cheez-Its versus <laughs> Veggie Sticks. <laughs> Where did this come from? I don't know. I love the way he said it. I love the way he said veggie sticks. I need to say something really important. Would it be okay if I started this one? I think sure. so, yeah. Timer begins now. Okay, so when I made my uh, choices on the bracket, I was a very different man. So <laughs> Five I months think, have passed. <laughs> I think that veggie sticks are still good, and I enjoy them a lot. But, I mean, like, maybe they don't deserve to be on here. Um, but that also being said, I'm not the biggest fan of Cheez-Its, so I probably will end up voting for them anyway. Um, but... Cheez-Its, uh, yeah, we'll we'll get into it, I'm sure. But Veggie Sticks, um, don't let the name fool you. They're not as bad as they sound, I promise. What do they taste like? Uh, imagine, ver imagine like a puffy, like I guess like corn chip, but it has like some kind of like seasoning on it. Like, I say seasoning, it's not like salt and pepper. It's more like I guess like a like a ranch glaze essentially, I and, like, they have a, a slight taste of, like, a vegetable with them, whether it's, like, a carrot or, like, a whatever, but the vegetable taste doesn't nearly overpower the, like, rest of the flavors enough for it to be, like, ew, nasty vegetables, you know? I, well, here's the thing, Clanky, I'm actually a pretty big vegetable fan, but then you said ranch. Mm. Well, I mean, all right, so let me let me explain. It's, like, they make, like, a ranch flavor of veggie sticks, and that's the one that I prefer. So that's what mm. I'm basing it off of. They do make, like, also, like, that same chip I described, except instead of, like, the the ranch glaze, it's, like, I guess more of, like, a sea salt. But Yeah, it has, I prefer those ones. It has, like, something... It has something else in its flavor. I just can't tell you what it is, because I, I can't really identify it myself. Uh, uh, the brand of veggie sticks that i grew up with were the trader joe's brand of veggie sticks and those in the early 2000s were the bomb.com uh i don't know i just i like the way they did them i like the texture the sort of the crunch to them you uh, can tell like it was the, the early 2000s by the fact that you described it as the bomb.com well <laughs> i also say that on the norm every day of my life so um i serve i guess um no i, I like those because Again, because it's Trader Joe's, they use, like, natural veggie flavors and things, and they used actual, like, carrot and, like, spinach or whatever the hell the colored ones are. And I always dug those, and I, every once in a while I have some of the... There, there's a brand that does them, right? I think there's, they're, like, the veggie sticks or whatever the hell, and those are pretty good, but they're different and they're more circular, I think. And I think that they're decent and they're just good as, like, a, a texture kind of thing, but, like, I can see that 
maybe they're not as good as they used to be. But, you know, they're still pretty cool. Y'all are selling me on veggie sticks a little bit. Yeah. Especially considering mm, okay. my opinion on cheese hits. All right, all right, all right. I can do this. I can do this. I have never won anyone over to my side before, but this is fucking important. Squares! Yeah. Orange squares. And they. you blew it. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. I'm not done. There's a circle in the middle. All right, all right, all right, look. Picture a cheese cracker that is cooked and baked to the utmost of perfection. There are tiny sprinkles of salt on this otherwise on this already small cracker and you bite into it and you get you you eat one. You you a friend offers you a cheese it. You say, "Hey, you want a cheese it?" I'm like, "Okay, I'll have one cheese it." You get to have one. And then I can't believe you're turning your explanation to a shaggy dog story. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep going. I don't even. I don't, I don't have time. I don't have time for your shenanigans right now. All right. These um, shenanigans. You have one Cheez It, and then the box is empty because you've eaten the entire box of yeah. Cheez Its. Yeah, inevitably. Because that's Cheez Its, the most addictive snack you'll ever eat. Yeah. If you have any. Here's the deal. You don't even have to like like cheese because a cheese like like a cheese it is so much its own. In the same way that chain pizza is not pizza, cheese it's is not a cheese cracker. It is just cheese it's. You eat them it's heavenly. and it is so heavenly. Here, cheese it's is the only snack that I actively have to restrict myself and how much of it I buy because I will eat the whole thing. Like, I can't buy a box of Cheez-Its. I have to buy them in snack size, or I will eat the whole box and gain two pounds. Mm. It is so fucking hard to avoid a Cheez-It. And what's great about a Cheez-It is that, like, they bake them, but sometimes they'll overcook them a little, and a burnt cheese it tastes even better. Yes. And, they're, and, and, and they have so many different Cheez-Its. Big Cheez Its, small Cheez Its, cheddar Cheez Its, white cheddar Cheez Its, glazed Cheez Its. Cheese. So many Cheez Its. There is a Cheez It for every day of the week. And like you can get them with pretzels. You can have them on your own. You can put a little bit of Hormel pepperoni in the middle and have a Cheez It sandwich. I can have Cheez Its with better do that. snacks. Fuck you! <laughs> that went from that went from the argument to fuck you in seconds. I love Jesus. Yeah. So right. fucking much. Can I also and, add? And, and last thing, sorry, I'm go. sorry. Yeah. Do not get cheese nips. They are no. not the same, and That's they are bad. Craft. <sighs> Veggie sticks is gonna win, and I'm gonna be so fucking. No, pissed. no, well. No, it, I don't think it's a lock because... Oh, yeah, they're incredible. <laughs> it's something about the, the slight, well-done taste of the Cheez-Its that I think is excellent. And, yeah, like you said, Taylor, I, I have to literally limit myself from having way too much. Cheez-Its are the, the my go-to road trip food. Like, we're, if we're going on a road trip somewhere, I will take a box of Cheez-Its. Just, like, I'll, I'll be eating Cheez-Its on the beach at the Jersey Shore. And I'll yeah, be, that's I, where I, you I, eat them, too. Yeah. Yeah, on the beach. Because they're, they're, it's a relatively cool beach food, and there have been many occasions where, like, I've spilled some on the beach, and so the birds have enjoyed it. Um, but, no, I just really like, again, it's texture, it's shape, it's, like, undertone of well-doneness, it's crisp. It does so much right as a snack food, and I, I, I would go so far as to call cheese it's the overwhelming, like, the Reese's peanut butter cup of this bracket, in that... I love it so much, and I wanted to go as far as possible because I think it's absolutely perfect. Just now, a, a, it may a, not, but I'll fight for it. One, one last thing: story to the power of a cheese its testament. Um, one time we had a roast of Jordan. Um, yeah, we did. Oh yeah, it was it was a very great time, and I knew that because of what time it was, I was probably going to have a late dinner, so I hadn't eaten dinner yet. Oh, um, man. fortunately, there were snacks, uh, and one of those snacks was cheese its So I took the box of cheese its and I just kind of had it next to me during the roast and, you ate um, and when the roast was over the cheeses were gone yeah 
Not the only snack I got for that roast that's on this bracket, by the way. True. Oh, I, I yeah. Curious my dinner, about the other one. My yeah. dinner was this and one other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't end up ordering anything else. I and and you know the thing is, that was fine. Cheez Its. You can make a meal out of Cheez Its. Yeah. Yeah, that night I had a bunch of cheese. It's a bunch of another thing on this bracket and some form of alcohol, I think. I was I was <laughs> I was having a very good time. Now cheese it's in vodka. That's a different oh, story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, the last time I had a, we had a happy hour out on the porch, I was drinking beer and having cheese. It was very nice. Yeah. That's great. Like the, <laughs> I imagine like you if you if you if you drink a more intensive drink with the cheese it's like the vodka burns so bad you don't notice that the cheese it's taste bad. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're Christian, just about out of time. Well, why why are you being so salty to cheese it's man? I'm not being no salty. Okay, maybe I'm being a little salty. Um I just don't like cheese it's. Why? What did what did cheese it's do to you? Taste bad. I'm actually I'm honest, honestly I'm uh, personally and my opinion doesn't matter because I don't No, know. Th- then don't say it. Okay, fair enough. I just want to say, Christian, you're not alone. I agree with you. He but... said it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, look, 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 I don't think Mick's going to be swaying anyone. <laughs> like, I think everyone's yeah, no. made up their mind. Yeah, so... Uh... We do a bracket, like, hey, Mick, you want to host? You're the unbiased guy. All right, so I hate this, 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 and this. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, let's get to the voting. Taylor. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, uh... Christian. To be honest, neither of these things sound very appealing to me. Um, but I think Plus. I'd rather try something new than eat a cheese again. So I'm gonna uh, vote for veggie sticks. Oh, Jordan, cheese it's. <sighs> yes, cheese it's. I really hope somehow this turns it around because I'm really worried of it in this bracket. But swing. I'm sure it'll be good the losers love... if it loses this round. Like it'll it. probably be like. Um, it'll probably like be it. fine. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't really like cheese it's. So. <laughs> I'm giving it to Veggie Sticks. Like ex- Cheez Its. Oh, thank God. Cheez Its scraping it by. Uh, so Cheez Its moves up, and uh, Veggie Sticks drops down to the bottom. Uh, geez, no, she was making, even though I agree, even though I agree with Christian, I would have voted for Cheez Its. Um, <laughs> Damn, Veggie Sticks are really that yeah. bad for everyone. Genie, I need you in the yearlies because you always save the things I like. I honestly, you, I feel like that's not. I feel like you don't want that because my video <laughs> opinions are bad. So are mine, and they allow me to host it. So are everyone's who doesn't vote for what I want. All right. <laughs> this is, you're all so. sad. Match four. <laughs> Takis versus pretzels. Mick, I love you. I love you, Mick. Um, Listen, right. I've just decided that I'm going to narrate this like I'm the fucking Mortal Kombat guy. <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing WWE. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, doing, kinda, buffer, I'm, doing yeah. a, I'm doing a mix. I started doing WWE yeah. and yeah. it's slowly turning into Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Right. I'll so, take it, man. Here is the only thing on the bracket that I need explanation of. Okay. What the fuck is a pretzel? I fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> I love it. It's a like wheat based snack that's usually tied in a special knot that has salt, uh, big salt chunks on it. Great. Also, just everyone, I, I know what it is, but for everyone else's sake, what's a talkie? Um, it's hard to explain. Imagine, imagine, uh, okay, yeah, imagine a flaming. you're not going to like him, Taylor, just be real. Yeah. Imagine a flaming Hot Cheeto, except instead of it being, like, wheat-based like a Cheeto is, it's more corn chip-based. Yeah. Okay, it's well, like, I like the corn it's chip It's like part. if you rolled up, uh, like, a, a, a corn chip or a tortilla chip, and it had all these spicy flavors. But but yeah. you know what? I feel like a Cheeto has, like, that corn chip-like um, a, like taste to it, almost. Like, yeah, if, you suck, if, if you suck down all the powder of a cheese, uh, of a Cheeto, you'll like, die. you're left with the corn chip. Yeah. Like, but... Yeah, but I mean, I feel like the Cheeto is more cheesy, and the, the Taki is more spicy. If that makes sense. A so the taki really isn't good. going for, like, a cheese flavor. Its goal is to make your mouth hot? Yes. Yes, yes. literally, yes. Okay, then, Clanky, respectfully, you're correct. I am not going to enjoy these. And I'm, yeah, on, ta- I'm on Taylor's side. Remember remember what I said before about how when I made this bracket, I was a different man? Um, <laughs> Takis, I've kind of fallen out of. Um, I really liked them when I put on the bracket because I got a bunch of recently, and I was eating a couple, like, you know, I was eating, like, bags of them. But now I have a bag of Takis that are sitting in... <laughs> Clanky's pantry that I didn't mention because it was already on the bracket oh, because man. like I just I don't want them anymore because they they hurt me too much now you know <sighs> so 
I, I do like Takis a lot. Don't get me wrong, but I need like a, I need like a very long break before I can have Takis again. All right. I, uh, one other question. Um, when you open a bag of Takis, do they tell a lot of jokes? Huh? No. Is it like supposed to be like Takis and it's like Takis? Well, thank you. Thank you for getting it at least. Um, uh, you're welcome. I, I don't think he got it. I think he was just. We're solving I was the making equation. a joke that talkies talk to you. Sorry. Why would a why would a snack talk to you when we literally have a snack that smiles back later on this bracket? Jordan, I was thinking the exact. Um, thing. You know, imagine. Can I just say, Jordan? I sensed genuine anger when you said that. Like, what the fuck acting is lessons wrong with off. you? <laughs> um, goldfish. No, I wasn't goldfish. angry. Goldfish. Cheez-Its for people that don't like Cheez-Its. Imagine yellow sea creatures, yeah. the snack that talks to you. Yeah. We'll get there. All right. Um, well, well, um, we had a couple of variations of pretzels, and we had to uh, we had to break them down to just any form of pretzel. Pretzels um, a superior dinery. My problem is I don't know whether to count mine as part of the pretzels or part of the goldfish. Because one of my favorite goldfish like packs that you can buy are like the cheddar goldfish mixed with the pretzel goldfish. I think that counts under goldfish. Okay, so then I yeah. will refrain from talking. Because they're goldfish yeah. flavors. But I remember well, I, I mean, you don't have to refrain from talking. Do you have anything I, else I don't to have say much about pretzels? To say about pretzels. Pretzels are pretzels. They they taste <laughs> <laughs> I remember back in the day. Pretzels, um, they taste. Back in the day I used to go to this after school program from like third to sixth grade. And the snack that you get was dependent on the day. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you would get cookies. Um, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays, there would be pretzel sticks. Now, I mm -hmm. loved cookie day when it was chocolate chip cookies, but sometimes it was oatmeal cookies. And I was like, ew. So I always liked Tuesdays and Thursdays when I was guaranteed to get pretzel sticks. Yeah. And I would munch down on my pretzel sticks and be like, all right, now I'm going to do other things that Christian would do in third grade or something. Hey, uh, Christian, I have a question. On Saturdays, did you get a note? Like, they're like, hey, give this note to your parents saying to stop bringing you here on weekends. <laughs> I was about to say, why the fuck would I be there on a Saturday? Um, okay. No, on Saturdays, they gave us, uh, they gave us gummy bears. They gave us the privilege to be at home. <laughs> yes. Well, I put pretzels on here, so I should probably say some fucking shit. Um, pretzels were the, my go-to snack food my entire childhood. Um, I usually just got the Snyder's ones. So, and I would, sh I would, my, I would routinely because I would bring them to school in my lunchbox and shit. So, like, I would get either like the snaps, which were like the four by four like rows of little pretzely goodness, or like the sourdough nibblers, which had the greatest texture to them. Or sometimes the the small little sticks, which were great, and eventually I would graduate towards the sourdough ones, which were just like like more hefty and and more to crunch. And the the thing is, is that you know it's, it's between Snyder's and also uh, Hare's um, pretzels, there was just a lot that like I just could enjoy munching down on, and like you know I I I just really enjoyed just from a, a structure, and I just liked how they tasted. They were just a, a purely great snack food to me. I um, I don't have them as much anymore, um, mostly because just you know I I've grown out of my pretzel phase, but I do think that they're an incredibly strong snack food. I think that they have, because you can have so many varieties of them, so many different types of like Snyder's can do so many different kinds that like it can appeal to so many other so many people's like snack um, preferences and things. Um, and I just think you can't really go wrong with with any of those. Even the sticks, like, you know, everybody's a favorite kind of pretzel, you know? I'm going to make my lock of the bracket, as I will, as I will dub it. Um, my lock of the bracket is that pretzels is going to win the whole thing. Mm, that would be nice. I do so. I, and I might be wrong, but I've not been wrong yet. So I are you sure about that? Are you I, sure you've never been wrong? I got a uh, I got. Undertale, right? But Undertale was a pretty easy guess. Here's my thing about pretzels. I enjoy them a lot. Uh, when I when I when I was uh, whenever I would go to my dad's office, there would be a big uh, a big jar of uh, peanut butter pretzels, which okay. was nice. Like you eat a pre uh, eat a pretzel, little, little get a little doll of peanut butter in there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and, and all in all, I think like uh, you know, good old rolled gold. 
um, are, are fun times. My thing about a pretzel is that it's got the exact opposite natures of like an addictive snack to me. Whereas to me, the first bite of a pretzel is the best. Um, you bite into a pretzel and it's like, it's like smooth and salty and like rustic in a really fun way. Um, but the longer you eat the pretzel, um, I don't know, the more tired I get. <laughs> I get tired of eating a pretzel after a while, I, mean, I guess, is what I I'm do saying. get what you're saying, because, like, they do get, they really, you have to really chew them to, like, eat a pretzel, you know, especially <clears throat> if you're eating them in large quantities. Yeah. So you get tired, and then on top of that, like, the taste of pretzel sits in your mouth for a while. It's kind of like when you eat, like, an apple, and the taste, like, lingers, and it's stuck in your mouth for a while, and that can get annoying, too. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never really okay. had a problem with that, actually. Yeah, me either. Clanky summed it up pretty well. Um, yeah, no, I can't imagine everyone would have that problem. It's it's a weird, it's a weird problem to have. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's, ju it's because just... I exclusively eat pretzel sticks. And also, sometimes, unlike Cheez Its, if you you can burn a pretzel and it can be worsened as a result. Hmm. So we're just about out of time. Yeah. So um, let's uh, let's go down the list. So Taylor. I'm going to take another swing at that Takis joke. Do you ever open a bag of Takis and it tells you to kill your parents? <laughs> Christian. <laughs> wait, uh, no, wait, I'm, wait. I'm voting for pretzels. I'm voting for pretzels. I'm voting like, for pretzels. I know. got to get the vote first before we condemn Christian. him. <laughs> um, he, he has voted. Time for condemnation. Anyway. <laughs> I also ate pretzels the first time I ever got high. And I ate pretzels. When you're high. <laughs> I ate pretzels straight out Welcome of the jar. Welcome back to Billy Nelson. Um... And it was fucking delicious, so I'm voting for pretzels. Can I just ask everyone else, is this going to be a pretzel sweep? Um, well, Give I them mean, each their own individuality. Okay. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I, I hope it could be, so I'm going for pretzels. <laughs> Planky? Yeah, if you ask me in, like, March, I might say Takis, but right okay. now I'm going to say pretzels. And Genie? Pretzels. I'm bothered that Cheez Its was was is the only thing that wasn't a five zero. So am I, Taylor. So am yeah. I. Next round, <laughs> Lay's potato chips versus Pringles. Oh okay, now you're turning into <laughs> Fire Marshal Bill. Now, so let me show you something. And Papa. <laughs> Salt and the Papa. <laughs> Right, if we loaf, um, <laughs> may, may I start? Uh, yeah. I can't fit my hand inside a Pringle can. I have no. a huge amount of trouble fitting my hand inside of a Pringle can. I can get my hand like four inches into the can, but then I have to tilt the can into my mouth, and by that point, a bunch of crumbs have accumulated at the bottom of the can, so they all go spilling onto my face. What I'm trying to say is the First, diameter your mouth of is Pringle too small, cans then your is hands way are too, too small. Big. I'll say it again. The diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. Two radiuses of a Pringle can is way too small. If you feel me, put your hands up. Come on. If you feel me, put your hands up. Taylor, you're one to talk. I have gigantic hands. All right. I don't know. I'm attaching them in the chat just for proof of this. <laughs> okay. But I, every, every... my hands are large. <laughs> and if you are having trouble fitting your hand in a Pringles can, what does that say about me? <laughs> the pose you're doing in this image. Dear like... Bo Burnham. <laughs> to, to be Nothing clear, I to be clear, I don't have a difficult time getting my hand inside of a Pringles can. I just wanted to read the lyrics to to the to the Kanye rant. Oh, oh you that's a thing. Plagiarist bastard. I that's actually have an issue with the Oh my god, did you guys take that serious? Yeah, I thought you were yes, really serious. Yeah, we didn't know what you were referencing, so we just saw thought, thought you were but genuinely you've all, But you've all seen it. You've seen what? It's just You've all while. seen. Haven't you all seen Make Happy? No. No. Well, I have. Yes, but, I have. Uh, yes, but they have. certainly haven't. Okay. Sorry. I. All right. And well, also, both of you to assume that I re that I remembered all the jokes from. I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Ago. I thought I thought you would remember a rant about Pringles. So the um, thing about Pringles. I remember one moment from East Bo Burnham special. Yeah. Okay. So the thing about Pringles. And this is actually very evident when we are putting it a, a directly against Lay's. Because these are two, basically, iterations of the same thing. You know, a plain potato chip. Yeah. And you have Lay's, which are, you know, the, the pretty 
homogenous, uh, equally agreed upon potato chip. The vanilla and, ice cream of snacks. Yeah. And then if you were comparing a, a Lay's potato chip to a Pringle, there are a few easy differences you're going to find. First of all, Pringles are extremely thin. Now, not that Lay's aren't thin. Lay's are also thin. But Lay's at least have a curl to them or have, like, you know, a texture to them. Pringles are, like, just, like, the slightest sliver of chip, of potato. And it's salted and, and so in a way that barely makes it taste like a potato chip. There is, a, there, there is something I need to point out. I, I think you should... Okay. Technically speaking, Pringles are not potato chips. They're, they're crap. That's why they taste worse. Okay. They're waffers. They're 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 a potato snack, legally speaking, because okay. they're not actually legally. sliced. It's like they, they it's like they took mashed potatoes, flattened them out, and then fried the like paste, rather than like actually like slicing a potato and frying that. Um. Yeah, technically they're called crisps here in the U.S. They're not chips. Really? Yeah. Like look, like there's an actual distinctional difference. Okay. Yeah, yeah because, because they're not because they're not just sliced and fried. They're yeah. they're they're like a like I said, process. they're mashed and then they're formed into the shape and then fried. Right. And look, I'm I'm fine with a Pringle every once in a while. I think Pringles are they serve their purpose as a snack food. But I, this is something that I don't think. Um, people were mentioning in regards to a lot of other chips, but when you open a Pringles can, the smell that emits from that is like, it's like, it's like, it, it smells like feet in there. I, I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> Ew. It, it, like feet that have been walking for an entire 12 hour day in burlap. And it's not a very well intending thing to open when you want a snack. I mean, look, Pringles are fine. Pringles have their benefits. I'm, I'll have a Pringle or two. But that combined with the fact that it's so hard to get to a bottom of a can if you're like me and have colossal Bigfoot hands, it uh, more problems arrive that arise than solutions. And I think that Pringles is a fundamentally Tilt flawed. the can upside down. Oh, yeah, and then crumbs will go fucking everywhere. Yeah, do you think I want to get a vacuum in the middle of my party, Taylor? I'm sorry. I'm so Again, you sound very angry, and I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'm just acting. Don't worry about it. Look, can honestly, I say... Honestly, I think I think Pringles were trying to... They, I think they wanted to make tennis balls. Yeah, I think so, too. Am I, am I the only Pringles defender here? No. Yes. Well, I mean, I don't uh, hate them, but I think they are, you know... Well, Clanky, I'll, here's what I'll say about Pringles. Um... I feel I feel about Pringles similar to how I feel about pretzels, whereas the first Pringle is incredible. But it's another example of like something that the long the more I eat of it, the kind of more sick I get. And, and I don't get that way with other potato chips, which I guess is is helping me understand the distinction between it and crisps. Um, I like uh, I like my first two Pringles a lot because uh, I'll make a little duck mouth. I'll, 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 you know, because you can, Bark. like, fold. You can, like, make yourself... Yeah. Look, okay, who cares? Um, Tell didn't even bring the duck do. I, um, I, I think Pringles is a very fun yeah. snack, like, a comedic snack. Like, you can yeah. do, you can do things with a Pringles, you know? Things. Like, uh, like, let's play with, you know, like, let's play with our food a little. Um, yeah. Because I put Lay's potato chips on here, and I want to talk them up for a little bit. But the first yeah. thing I want to say is it's very, very vindicating to hear a lot of people go off on Pringles. Because I also hate Pringles. I'm I just not think going off on Pringles. I hate them, but I just but, have problems with them. I, you know, I, I don't, I'm I don't agree with you. I'm going to interpret it personally as all of you hate Pringles, like, a lot. So, Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. And this so, is not Steven Universe. <laughs> so I'm going to interpret it. As, <laughs> no. But, um... I, I feel a bit of vindication on that, I'm, and, I, and I'm kind of glad I'm not the only one who doesn't really like how they taste very much. Um, and Lay's potato chips is the perfect example of how, when it comes to snacks, food in general, I like plain food. I like plain milk chocolate. I like plain fucking, like, french fry or whatever. I don't, I don't use condiments. I don't use any of that shit. <gasps> and... I like plain as salty potato chips. And Lay's potato chips are like perfect. They're like salty. They got like little air bubbles in the chips that you bite into and it gives like a different like feeling each time you bite into another potato chip. And they just taste really, really good. I can't really say more about them besides the fact that they just taste good. 
Uh, and I've eaten big bags of potato chips as dinner sometimes. Um, so, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Mm-hmm. Clanky, do you want to defend Prinkles a little? Yeah, I, mean, I was going to say, yeah. I really don't have anything to defend because they're just like, I, I can understand why people would prefer Lay's. I just, I guess like if I'm choosing between the two, I guess I for myself, I'd grab a Pringles can. But like for a party, I'd grab a bag of Lay's. So, You're- yeah, I really, I, there's nothing really much I can defend other than I prefer Pringles a little more. And you can make like the stupid duck face with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's what Quack. I said. I, oh. I said that earlier. Yeah, Clanky yeah, didn't bring yeah. the duck to either, so... Um, Jeannie, do you have a, a, do you have any comments on these chips? I mean, yeah, I don't I'm, I like both of them. Like I said, I enjoy plain chips, so they're really, they're both fine. You know, I, I grew up preferring Pringles, and then I kind of switched to, like, enjoying Lay's more. But I don't know. I think that, I think that I, I think that I do overall, like, prefer Pringles, because I enjoy, like, kind of, like, the harder chip, but it really is just, like, a preference thing. Um, and do either of you have a different flavor of Pringle, or do you just go basic? I like the cheddar Pringles. I, you see, mm. the, I like all of the Pringle flavors except, like, the weird ones, like pizza and hamburger and hot dog. I'm not into that. There's a hamburger Pringle? I'm more concerned with the hot dog Pringles. Oh, my God. I'm a, I'm a regular Pringles kind of. I'm, a, I'm just a regular chip person kind of in general. Same, yeah. If I'm going to go for them, I'll have the plain ones. So uh, we're just about out of time. Yeah. Mm. I kind of tried to say that earlier stealthily, but no one listened. I was uh, watching the eight, but... No, they, they do that as... Okay. No, Mick. Yeah, I, yeah, when I did the, the last time, time, I was like... Yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. All right. So, uh, oh, we get to switch up the order. Um, yes, Genie. Uh, Pringles. Clanky. Pringles. Jordan. You know what? I never asked to do this, but can you come back to me? Clink, Christian. Please don't do this. Lay's potato chips. Taylor. You know, I, I I was pretty sure what I wanted, and I gotta be honest. When Clanky said there was a hamburger flavored Pringle, I I I'm not sure anymore. No, there's no way. No, I'm not kind of... kidding. I'm not kidding. A hamburger chip sounds fascinating to me it sounds taylor, like a taylor. horrible science taylor, experiment taylor do you remember the cheeseburger taylor, pizza you had as someone who said as someone who said that it exists i am telling you and is defending pringles they're bad they're not good i cannot believe nick remembered the cheeseburger pizza i didn't even remember the cheeseburger pizza. I had blocked that out of my memory. <laughs> Holy shit. I like I wrote I remember I wrote a screen I wrote a teleplay in, in class, a class that Jordan and I took together. And I wrote a bit about how much I hated that cheeseburger pizza because it was green. And I was and I was trying to recount that I'm like, what food did I say was so gross that it looked like this? I had blocked it out. You just <laughs> awoken everything that I was trying to cancel. How dare you? It doesn't matter anyways, because I'm pretty sure Clanky made up the bur- the the hamburger. Oh, wait, hang on. No, he didn't. Hang on. I assure I just, I, you, he did not. I, I, just, oh, I need to get a look at them. Uh, yeah, well, I put them in food celibacy, of course. Oh, I, okay. Um, I still the C. So oh, true. they're cheeseburger? They're not regular burger? I... I guess, yeah. No, but they're not kosher. Does it make a difference? Yes, I vote for Lay's. Yes, but it's not well, over yet. It's to me, is it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're the deciding factor, Jordan. And the other thing about Pringles is that, like, it just like you have five of them, and it, that that even that itself is not fulfilling because, like, okay, like it's a couple of chips, but then like. You'll get to the the Pringles that like aren't in the full Pringle shape and they'll be slightly broken, and the other piece of that will be underneath the rest of the can. And there's also the smaller like like one eighth of a Pringles thing they used to give you like at school. And and uh, I say all this because I'm voting for Pringles and I don't want to feel too bad about it. Um, I figured uh, Pringles I am more likely to go for than Lay's. They piss me off, but. Um, why do Lay's piss you off? You've been ranting about Pringles. No, 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 Taylor, let me specify. Pringles piss me off. 
but I am more likely to go for them at a store than Lay's because I think that they're a bit more interesting than Lay's. So what you're saying is closed. Pringles is your Domino's pizza. Yep. Big win for Pringles. I don't Big feel good about this. But... Lay's potato chips. Like, fuck, that was my number one. All right. So, match six. <laughs> Goldfish versus Welch's Root Snacks. This one's going to be tough for me. I think you said fruit Can snacks I start? without the F. Can I start? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, this is going to be the hardest bracket for me between these two because I love both of these. I've had a much more in-depth, lasting history with goldfish because it's probably something I, I, I have eaten. It's, it's a snack I've eaten in the past year as opposed to Welch's fruit snacks, but I have been craving fruit snacks for like months now. And it's probably because I used to eat them back in the day and they were really really tasty and even though they're they're gummies you feel healthy for eating fruit snacks no you don't yes you do shut up and like they, it's actually like a really inventive snack in a way because of that i i don't know it's it's a classic versus an interesting new take and i don't really know which to go for so i'm gonna leave the rest to y'all while i deliberate well the other thing is that it's pretty tough for me because I love both of these as well. Mm -hmm. um, but my, I mean, the one I put up is Goldfish because like Cheez-Its, I really like just how Goldfish tastes because I think it, it it's more of a cheddar taste than Cheez-Its, but also just the way, the it's a different crunch than Cheez-Its as well. And it's just really fun to just sort of, you know, snap them open in your mouth and... Um, you know, go through them. I like that it has that sort of shape that it, they're just fishy. When I was young, I used to call them fishy crackers. They were great. Mm -hmm. um, and for a while, it would just like, like I, I said this before, that st different snack foods hold different purposes for me. And Cheez-Its, I already said, were my road trip food. For a while, uh, goldfish were my sick food. Me because, too. I was going to uh, say that. Because like when I was sick and I didn't wasn't really leaving the house for anything, I just had some uh, goldfish. And also because they're good in soup, and so you put some in tomato soup, and they 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 soak it up pretty pretty good. That's that's um, an amazing idea. I've never thought of that before. Yeah, yeah, I do it every once in a while uh, because I already like. They used to show, they used to show it on the commercials putting goldfish in tomato soup. Yeah, it's great. And I I live like not too far from Campbell's Soup headquarters in, in Camden, so like um you know bulk Camden Campbell's tomato soup some goldfish in there it's perfect. Um, I I also just like them because they, there's. I don't know, there's something of like, I don't know if it's a salty case, I don't know if it's a pure cheddar taste, but just like some specific cheeses have just this sharper taste to them that I think are really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I love I love the regular um, goldfish. I've, I've flirted with some of the other ones, uh, including one that another one of our participants is going to bring up inevitably. But um, I just, I, I feel really at home with goldfish. And um, I, I, again, they make me really happy. So... How can you not be happy when it yeah. smiles back? Yeah. Hold for you. I, um, I think the distinction I would make between a goldfish and a cheese, it is I generally prefer to eat cheese. Not, not that I won't have a couple at a time, but I'm much more likely to eat cheese. It's individually. Whereas goldfish, I like to grab a huge handful and kind of stuff them in my mouth. Um, yeah. And, uh, and just, like, the glob of cheese you make as you're crunching onto them and swallowing that. This sounds disgusting, but it's great. Um, <laughs> for me, a goldfish has to be the regular cheddar. If you give me another flavor of goldfish, I'm probably not going to be too into it. I'm not a big fan of the flavor blasted. I'm not a big okay. fan of the pizza goldfish. Yeah, pretzel yeah. goldfish are just pretzels, so everything I said about pretzels are... No, I'm saying that, like, a pretzel goldfish is a pretzel, so I'm... That's that's how I'm treating it. We already it. agreed to put it in this category rather than the pretzel category. No, it's category. fine. No, no. I'm speaking on behalf of, like, if I want a goldfish, then I'm going to have a goldfish. A like gold... a living one? So, Welch's Fruit Snacks. Um, <laughs> I, uh... Welch's Fruit Snacks is my vending machine snack. Yeah! Um... And what I, what, what I like about a Welch's Fruit Snack is, despite the small taste... It's something that I actually like to savor so much that I will, with my super small mouth, eat the tiniest bites. Like, um, 
They have a they have a grape they have a grape flavored Welch's fruit snack. And of course, the thing about a Welch's fruit snack is that the flavor looks like the fruit, which is which is fun. I think presentation wise, Welch's fruit snacks uh, wins a lot of points. Um, but so I'll get like a bushel of grapes and they, they texture it up so that each grape is its own little, has its own little ridge. And I'll, <laughs> I'll with my teeny tiny mouth, try to bite off each individual grape of the Welch's fruit snack. And if you look up, if you look up a bunch of, a bundle of grapes, you'll understand how fucking ridiculous that is. Yeah. But like, I used to do that too. Yeah, that but like, like a lot of fun. It's so much fun. Like a Welch's yeah. fruit snack is a lot of fun to eat. I cannot I deny those. that. Yeah. Um, so I agree with you, Christian. This is actually a tough one, and I might hear what everyone else has to say before I vote. Right. I also have a lot of good things to say about Welch's fruit snacks. Like I, they were my marching band food when I was in high school marching band because we get they have like a snack stay, and I always get the the fruit snacks. Those are always good. No bad flavors in the box. I'd always go for the grape ones anyway because uh, they they do whole bags of just grape ones or just berry ones, and those yes, are always really true. good um they taste great um i no qualms about them uh i don't really care for welch's fruit snacks um i'll eat them mm -hmm. i think they're okay so i don't really have much to say about them but uh and goldfish are like the uh, uh my cheese it's i guess i they're my go-to like cheese snack i guess so to speak yeah, i agree with I, that i think that gold goldfish i also respect because i enjoy just about every flavor of goldfish. The pizza ones, eh, maybe not. But like the um, like the the regular ones, the flavor blasted, the pretzels I love. They're my favorite. Yeah. Period. Um, and then I like the one I especially love the pretzels mixed with the extreme cheddar or whatever it's called. Those ones are like the great. flavor blasted. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're also skipping out on the the fucking color ones. Goldfish. Oh, rainbow yeah. goldfish. True. True. Cold, they're they're, they're just the same fish. as cheddar, but they're colored. Rainbow goldfish, that's what they're called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never had those. So they're, they're the same they're, as cheddar. They're the exact same thing, but they feel different when you eat them. Okay. I love them. Anyway, yeah. So uh, it's an obvious winner for me. I'll leave it at that. All right. I don't eat fruit snacks, so um, I and I uh, but winner go, by default. I mean, yeah, like. <laughs> Gold, I, I prefer Cheez-Its to Goldfish, but I will eat Goldfish. And I uh, I like the pretzel Goldfish, so yeah. That's... You don't eat fruit snacks? What, you don't want to be healthy? <laughs> yeah, I'm really missing out on all the nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Yeah, it's all that, all that delicious fruit-flavored sugar. So, uh, okay. we're gonna uh, just out of time. Oh, sorry. Sorry, we boring Mr. You? Buffer? Yes. Um, so, uh, let's go down. So, uh, Genie. Uh, Goldfish. Flanky. Goldfish. Jordan. With a heavy heart, Goldfish. Christian? I was just thinking about, like, what, what I wanted right now. And, like, at this very moment, what do I want between these two right now? Um, and while I love Goldfish, I want some fruit snacks right now. So, I'm voting for Welch's. True, that'd be pretty boss right now, but I'm not changing my vote. You know that's a good argument, Christian, because I just had a giant. I just had pizza, so of course I would prefer Welch's fruit snacks to goldfish right now. But uh, it doesn't. Um. Uh, uh, um. Uh, goldfish. My entries are getting right. fucking blasted right now. I don't, I don't, I don't feel great. Ugh. So, Goldfish moves on, and Welch's fruit snacks drops down to the loser's bracket. Where am I? Match 7! Tostitos Tortilla Chips versus Peanut Butter Crackers! Begin! I'm just gonna say this. Tostitos Tortilla Chips are in, I, I'm sorry, but they're garbage without anything to put dip into them. Oh, that is them. true. That is true. I hate Not eating them really. by themselves. I think that they taste just like generic and nasty. I'd rather have any other chip instead of the tortilla chips by themselves. But well, I, I will say with like a dip, they're like the go-to chip. And that's the issue here is that like I don't, I don't hate Tostito tortilla chips, but by themselves, I do. Well, I think it's, well, look, I think that's a very much 
your own, the way you eat any one of these foods, I think is entirely up to you in terms of how you factor in your vote. Like if we, if we ever did a, a, a bracket where like we compared hamburgers and hot dogs or like French fries, um, it's like, yeah, do we factor the fact that we probably are going to have ketchup? Cause like, you know, that's just, that's just up to personal choice. Like someone who votes for a hamburger without ketchup may not be the same as someone who votes for a hamburger with ketchup. So if you, so if the dip is what determines which one you'll like more, then I feel like that's probably okay. Am I wrong in saying that that's okay? I mean, y'all, y'all can do what you want. I'll just say this about Tostitos tortilla chips because I'm the one to put it up. Uh, I've had maybe a million of them plain. I've had maybe a million of them with salsa. I love them both ways. I again, uh, I put I put Tostitos specifically on here because. Um, that's, I think, the most obvious one. Because I, I don't know if putting just tortilla chips would be enough because there's so many different kinds of them they all, and they're all kind of different. Um, but it's just the texture. I, I've been saying that a lot, but um, I think that it's very important because um, I'm, I'm trying to think how to say this with, without sounding really generic and weird, but like, I just like how it tastes. I like how they taste. I like how, you know, the, 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 the texture, the crunch... I like that there's just this not too salty kind of aftertaste. Um, I like that they're a good palate cleanser when I'm not having salsa with them. I also like how much they can trap when I am having salsa with them. Um, it's funny because yeah, like at home I, right now, I, I just get the generic Aldi brand sort of like tortilla chips. But even those are really good and you can do a lot with them. Uh, they're just one of my favorite things to eat and I just like them a lot, so... I don't disagree. I think tortilla chips are a wonderful chip. Uh, they're very addictive. Uh, have them like at a barbecue and eat the whole bag. And, like they're fun. I I think they're a little saltier than you let on. I feel like there's a nice yeah. glaze of salt over the chip that uh that 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 that, that you know is in, that is enjoyable to me. Yeah. Um, the thing is, do I like them more than peanut butter crackers? And Ooh. This is uh, this is an example. This is this is my uh, this is my clanky nomination where I'm a bit of a different person uh, than I was when I nominated these. Not base, mainly because I like peanut butter crackers so much that um, I started having them way way more than usual. Um, to give you context, I was telling you guys that like when I was a kid, I would just go eat my pantry. Um, but what that really came down to was sneaking down to the kitchen while my parents were asleep and grabbing one or two packs of peanut butter crackers and also making a peanut butter sandwich on a hamburger bun for some reason um, and just noshing on that. And it was delicious, and I gained 40 pounds. But uh, the thing about a peanut butter cracker is it's... It's one of it's it, it's a very perfect blend. It's 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 a it's toasted so perfectly. Um, the peanut butter, like the way it hits the roof of your mouth and corners, the way the cracker is salted, uh, you it's it's really really good. I just um I started having them like as occasional meals and they don't work as occasional meals. So I've gotten a little sick of them, but I, I feel like that can much like how clanky voted for veggie sticks. Anyways, I'll probably still vote for them. I got to think on it. So someone else talk. Not me. No. Yeah. yeah I don't really have much else to say. I'm ready to vote. Yeah. Good. Both ready to vote then. Uh, let's start, Genie. Uh, tortilla chips. Kalinki. I'm gonna give them. I mean, uh, I guess going with the assumption that I have like a nice queso dip, I'm going with Tostitos. Jordan. Yeah, quite clearly, I'm going with the tortilla chips. Christian. I mean, like, should have been kind of obvious. 
Uh, I fucking hate peanut butter, and I will vote for literally everything on this bracket five times over over peanut butter crackers. They are in last place for me on this so bracket. So, Taylor. Well, I'll just take my peanut butter crackers and go then. Do it. Take them away from me. I remember, like, eating peanut butter crackers occasionally. Uh, are they, the like, the square ones that also have, like, the cheese, like... They can be, yeah. Thing? But oh. that's just, that's more like a brand. Oh, Keebler, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And that is what I'm talking about, but, like, it doesn't have to be Keebler. Understood. Okay. So... By the way, Christian, can I just say... Mm -hmm. This is the meanest you've been to any of my entries ever. Oh my when I said like, that peanut butter like, crackers are last place. No, it's not just that. You've like you've destroyed Cheez Its, you destroyed peanut butter crackers, you've destroyed every chip that isn't a basic chip. Taylor, I'm sorry, you I I like I only like like a quarter of the things on this bracket. Match eight. Chariskets <laughs> versus <laughs> Wise <laughs> Wise Air Popped Butter Popcorn. Man. Can I go first? <laughs> sure. Are you going to talk about why you hate Wise Air Popped Butter Popcorn? I actually like Wise Air Popped Butter Corn. Um, and when you, when we first discussed this, actually, Taylor, you, we, I believe we had a discussion about this, about how I thought you were talking about the white cheddar version, which I do hate. Um, yeah, but, I do remember that. Yeah, but instead... Because, because I remember it. you were like, you were like, well, of course he's talking about the white cheddar popcorn. That's exactly... Why? What else could he be talking yeah, about? Because when you think about popcorn, of course you think about white cheddar. That's flavor. the one that's in all the vending machines. So, but of course that, that, that was the one. Vending machines too is the argument I would make. What? But but, but, but yeah, but I disagreed then because like oh, yeah, you could find it, but like I've any never more seen often the regular. Find this. I've never seen the regular in a in a in a vending machine before. I've never seen regular butter pop popcorn. Um, all right. But that's okay because look, I I really like Weiss Air Pop butter. And honestly, uh, like it, it's probably like a number two for me. Like I, I imagine because I've eaten so much of it. What I was gonna ask is when Triscuits was first po posed to the bracket, I was like, wait, aren't Triscuits like dog treats? No. Yes. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought they were dog uh, treats. Oh no, no, they're not. Yes. I don't know. I don't like Triscuits. I'm I'm with you, Taylor. I don't really like Triscuits. I don't even want to be mean to Triscuits. I just legitimately didn't know they were human food. Hmm, <laughs> human Triscuits. <laughs> Who put them on here? I believe it was you, Jordan. Well, hang on a minute. I think he's saying that sarcastically, no? No, uh, let me just look. Well, maybe they were in my honorable mentions and they leveled up somewhere. Yeah, I don't we know. didn't update our entries to reflect yeah. honorable mentions. So if it was me then maybe I should explain why I like them. Because, like, a lot of other things that I'm putting on here that I have put on here, it's very much about the texture. I like things that have a texture. I like things that crunch. Triscuits are great because you crunch into them and you get so much texture. And it, it's very much the the feeling of eating television static. Um, That's a good way to describe it. That That's a great way to describe it. Is? Yeah. But I, but it is, but I don't enjoy it. Is my thing. Okay. Yeah, I was like, hold on a yeah. second. That does not sound pleasurable. I, I was do. going to say the much simpler thing. I taste grain. Yeah, and I kind of dig that, especially. I mean, because there's there's types of triscuits that I don't like that are like too, like like there's like garlic and flavored, or they're like like they have other like they they're they're dressing it up too much. It's just a. A regular original uh, Triscuit where you just crunch into it and just have the the flavors of it just sink in. Like I, I, I dig that. I'm probably not going to win other, a lot of people over because this is going up against one of the greatest drunk foods of all time. It's so but, true. Um, it's so I like true. I like, I like Triscuits. And this um, was the other half of my dinner the night of Jordan's roast. Oh, yeah, I had a ton, too. Um, They're so tasty. It's addicting. They are. Air popped are. butter is. I, I, I forget the corn part, so it's like you know, yeah. like the air pop stick of butter. Um, no, but the air popped butter corn is like yeah. very addicting. The yellow bag, right? Exactly, the golden yeah. yellow bag. I want to just stress this for people who are potentially listening to this who aren't our friends. Um, a lot of us are from the New York area, and Wise Chips are the big cheese in the New York area. Um, they are. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't think Wise is as popular. I mean, they don't have as many of them down here. I can't really get the Wise. Um, at least I don't think I can. Um, but they're very big in the New York area, um, which is why I could find them. I can find them so readily at the the more store at purchase. And every once in a while, if I was going uh, down to, because I had friends who lived in um, the dorm uh, Fort Awesome, which was the name of it. For oh God! Here. Yeah, and um, <laughs> I would uh, hang out with some people who lived there, and we would be drinking, and we would polish off a bottle of wine or a bottle of something strong, and I would inevitably have to go down and get more snacks, and I would always get a thing of these because they tasted so good when you were getting drunk like oh funny i can tell the story now and i'll try and do it quick because i know we have only the eight minutes but we've we've made up a lot of time but with short rounds um there was one time uh where i was doing a cast party in the apartment which is at the very end of the other end of campus from the more store and i was unlucky enough to be sent on um get more snacks duty i was already several glasses of wine in. i was toasted i was very drunk and so i'm walking across campus alone drunk only just me and my phone can accompany with who do i start texting i start texting taylor and taylor goes are you right buddy and i go and i just put in parentheses uh to the tune of um at the time of my life by bill medley and jennifer warrens i've had a fuck ton of wine <laughs> I don't remember this. Oh, it happened because Graham Wait. came into improv the next day singing it, so you told him. How does the um, drunk person remember it, but the sober person doesn't? Right? That's I thought at first because I thought this was I going never to be the forget that because it was incredible. I uh, thought he was I thought this was going to be the story where I have the infamous in, in the relationship that is me and Jordan, there's an infamous line I send him where I go, This is the point of the conversation where I ask if you are drunk. I ask when you're drunk. Um, yeah, no, but I say that I send it to Taylor, and Taylor goes responds, and I'll never forget this. He responds, "Have you ascended?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Pretty much." But yeah, I make it across the, the campus, and I get uh, these wonderful wise uh, popcorn, and I'm still toasted. And then th this is the moment where one of my friends decides she wants to talk to me, and I have to pretend like I'm sober for about a minute uh, and be like, "Oh feeling. yeah, playwriting things." Yes, mm -hmm. and then I go over to the counter where um, my friend who I was running improv with at the time. It was working there, and I'm like, hey, I'm toasted. And they're like, cool, have fun. And then I ran all the way back and got even drunker. But yes, <laughs> classic wise, story. Yeah, uh, Anya can vouch for that. But yes, um, uh, wise uh, popcorn. I love them so much. Every kernel is wonderful, just well salted enough, buttery enough. They may not be amazing for you, but they're some of the best drunk food out there. They're not terrible for you. I mean, all right. Uh, but like, popcorn is a healthy snack in general. Yeah, but it's the butter on there, really. Yeah, no, I know. Like, that's why I get it. Like, that's why I'll prefer it to microwave popcorn is, like, you eat it and there's just a burst of butter. It's like, I don't know. Like, I was uh, I was staying at a hotel and I had to have some, uh, I had to get some basic uh, groceries delivered. And I'm like, hey, if you buy one bag of Wise Popcorn, you get another bag free. I'm like, well, I guess I'm getting Wise Popcorn. And uh, I opened up the bag. I poured myself a little cup. Uh and then the next day, the bag was gone because that's I couldn't works. stop eating the popcorn. And um, that's like, all right, I should not open the second bag. I think I need to keep this. It was, it was like Pandora's bag because if I opened it, everything was gonna, everything bad was yeah. going to happen. That's how, that's how fucking addictive Wise Air Bop popcorn is. So we're just about out of time. Hoping the wise air popped buttered popcorn and it cranked up the thermostat. So, Jeannie. Um, I, I really don't like either of these things, mm. but I really don't like Triscuits. So okay, cool. I think Plenty. out of oh, yeah. sorry. I thought it was no. I'm, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, uh, Clinky. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I don't really care for either of them either, but I'd rather have the wise. I don't know why, but I could picture Clanky as a Triscuits guy. Well, you pictured incorrectly, my friend. But yeah, I'm there aren't any Triscuits guy here. I other really like Triscuits. Now I'm picturing Clanky eating dog treats. God damn it. Come on. Uh, Jordan? Wise popcorn. 
Christian. It is wise to vote for wise popcorn. Dun dun dun. Taylor. Well, if it's wise, then why? Is it wise? <laughs> da, 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 da. I like how stoically and seriously you said, then what? Oh, I think I said then wise. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought you said then what? My bad. Oh, so no, why is better. Air Pop Buttercorn moves on to uh, moves on to uh, winners round two and Triscuits, which fun fact comes from a combination of the word biscuit and electricity because that's what they were baked with when they were invented. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Made with they love were, and about ten thousand volts. The, the yeah the for the first advertisement is like Triscuits baked with electricity. Triscuits. Yeah, that was a selling to... point. Listen, in 1903, you better believe it was a selling point. Okay. When you're getting executed, have a Triscuit. <laughs> My last meal. One, in parentheses, one Triscuit. <laughs> yeah, we need this to start up the chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a different cut of the movie, The Green Mile. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> With his, the actor just puts it instead of the metal dome on the head, puts on the trisket. I'm sorry, sir. The trisket was dry. <laughs> oh, we fucking. Um, yeah, you guys have. Have you guys seen Back to the Future Part One? Yes. yes. Like, ah, uh, Marty, we need a strong enough power con conduit of electricity to start the car. Just get the yeah, the doc. All I got are these triscuits. That's it. <laughs> <My goodness. laughs> oh God. Molly, yeah. oh, we gotta get the triscuits. <laughs> oh, Doc, I don't know. Listen, if I've learned anything from Ice Age Two: The Meltdown in the year of 1955, Molly, open the door, get on the floor. Glorious triscuits. Food, glorious food. <laughs> Were triscuits around when Oliver came out? Uh, <laughs> The, the 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 musical yes the uh the Charles Dickens book no okay well I like that I like that uh nuanced answer I, I, I love, know, I love the, how the Nick, twist yes had to be another Triscuit my I, I love how Mick had that distinction ready to go like he oh, already course. knew I what imagine Mick was like Christian's about to ask a stupid question let me pull up the years that both Oliver no. properties came out <laughs> <laughs> well no 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 the thing is is that like because like I know Tris Triscuits were introduced in 1903 okay. And I know Oliver the Musical came out probably in, like, the 60s or something. Yeah, and, um, and the, new, Oliver, the movie was 68. Oliver, but Oliver Twist, the Dickens novel, was written in, like, the, the 1830s. So I'm right. like, it's basically right in the middle. And so that's what made me... Yeah, anyway. But it's still knowledge that I don't possess. Um, anyway, what the hell were we talking about? Oh, yeah, that's right. Losers round one. Match nine. Annie's Bunny Grams versus Clunky's Pantry. Famous Famous no. Cookie Packs, off brand veggie sticks, crumbled up bags of barbecue Doritos that are powder and dust. Make it! All right, well, we're we, voting, right? <laughs> can we can we get Clanky's Pantry out of here? <laughs> Why? I think we may have, have you not to. cleaned it in a while? No. Did your sisters ever write back? No. That's a shame. Yeah, I mean, I, it's what I expected. The only time they ever text me is when they want to send me a TikTok. <laughs> mm. Among us in real life, sus, sus. man, sus. Among us in real life, sus. sus. Can I ask one question before we vote? Because sure. we never fully decided on this. Are we counting famous Amos cookie packs? This will determine my vote. I mean, I, I, I really don't care. It's. I feel like this is just kind of you know. I, I already know I'm voting for Bunny Grams, so it doesn't matter too I much. I want to determine if Clanky's Pantry's going to get one vote, so does anyone care? I don't. Listen, ordinarily, I, I, would, I would be very serious, but if you want to be pity, if you want to take pity on Clanky's Pantry, then take pity on Clanky's Pantry. I'm not doing it. If, if Famous Amos counts, then I like it more than the Bunny Grams. But you also, here's the thing, you can't just eat the famous Amos cookie packs. You also have to have off-brand veggie sticks and crumpled up bags no, of barbecue. Don't. 
Yes, I you can do. throw them We're out. We're cleaning out the pantry, Christian. If I open everything a bag must of, go. If I'm going to open a bag of a box of Cheez Its, I'm not going to eat every Cheez It. What do you? Of course you are. No, I'm not. I might eat like five, and then I'm done with no, no, it, and I'll let someone else finish it. No, no, no. In all likelihood, Christian will eat neither because he hates them. It's true. I barely ever finish snacks. I, I usually let leave snacks for other people to finish. Christian, I swear to God, I will electrocute you with this Trisket so hard. Oh God. Um. <laughs> all right. So since no one cares, I'm just gonna assume they count. I'll say they don't. I still, I'll say they don't count for right now. If Clanky's pantry gets all the way to the end, then we're gonna have a different discussion. Yeah. If you're the only person that cares and you say that it doesn't count, then it doesn't count. I don't care right now. Let's put it that way. All right. We can vote. All right. So Taylor. Uh, you say Annie's bunny grams are like Teddy grams? That yeah. That's pretty much what they are. All right, I, I had Teddy Grahams as a kid, and I enjoyed them, so I would have some Bunny Grahams. Jordan? Um, I guess by default, uh, the Bunny Grahams. Uh, Jeannie? Bunny Graham. Christian? Running on the assumption that famous Amos cookie packs do not count, I'm going to be voting for Bunny Grahams. All right, and I told you that it's fine, though. I look. I, give it you, up. You gave me the give best it up, answer, you Taylor. Give it up. Just, well, we made a whole. You made a whole big deal about wanting to vote for the cookies. You were the only one who gave me an answer, Christian. Funny. Open the door. Get on the floor, and I'll do the dinosaur. Grams. <laughs> we're running out of Hawaii Five O episodes. Yes. <laughs> There's been so many fucking five O's. Oh my god. It's one of those. Match it's 10. It's one of those. Veggie sticks versus Takis. This is really just the two chips I just don't care about anymore. That's wild. We're, this, is a, <clears throat> this is a battle of Clanky's past. And Clanky's future. I don't know. <laughs> future! No. <laughs> Marty! <laughs> Get the box of Tristan's box. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, Doc. <laughs> it's turned into Rick and Morty. We know it has. I mean, um, we're getting, we're edging closer and closer. It's just because, like, I can't do a good Marty. Like, all right, like, let me try to do Marty McFly. Um, Doc, it's me, Marty. No, uh, no. Um, Doc, it's you're me. telling me, Doc, you, you made a time machine. I even mind slipping. But like, he's like time machine. The DeLorean. But like yeah. he's kind of fast, like he's kind of speedy about it. I feel. I can if that makes sense. Watch Back to the Future Part One to figure out how the. Fuck yeah, you, you, you need to anyway because that movie rocks. An that movie is yeah. great. Oh, it's a great movie. I love that movie. But you can watch it after. I don't care. I so, be able to are we ready to vote? Uh, I suppose so. Yeah. All right, Taylor. Uh, well. One of these will light my mouth on fire, and one will not. Veggie sticks. Jordan. Uh, in the deleted scene from the movie uh, Sausage Party, I think there oh, was God. probably a lot of veggie sticks. What? You know, the, bit, the bit where they were having the orgy was probably veggie sticks. I didn't so, think it through. What? Like, so what are you voting for? I'm voting for veggie sticks, and then I'm going to hang myself. Oh, um, no. Well, I'm not oh my you know, Jordan, Jordan, we have the Triscuits. Get in the chair. <laughs> Jeannie. Like, we're, we're go we might as well use them. I don't really like either of these things, so veggie sticks. <laughs> sure. Uh, uh, the, 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 the Christian. Um, Takis, ew, veggie sticks. And clicky. Damn, I didn't expect Takis, Takis to get this badly beaten. I'm voting for Takis. All right. Which means Veggie Six moves on and Takis dies. Hmm. Match 11. Lay's Potato Chips versus Welch's Fruit Snacks. Oh, yeah. fuck. Whatever happens, fuck. it will cause me pain. Of all things, dying in losers... I would not have called one of these. Yeah, no, these are like the winners of the losers bracket. Yeah. 
These people who just got well, these ones just got fucked by the bracketing. I think. And peanut butter crackers, but well, says you. Um, okay. These two, I, 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 I mean, I do know what I'm voting for, but the, oh, I feel sad now. I shouldn't have killed Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually, I should have. I don't feel bad about it at all. When I heard that vote, I thought Lay's had won, but then you guys said Pringles won. I'm like, it was you, yeah. you, Clanky, and Genie all voted for Pringles. That was it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought Lay's I had felt it. Like it. I know, but I, I have, I had more fond memories of Pringles, even if I have problems with it. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'm ready to vote. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, me too. All right. So, uh, Taylor? I'm sorry. I, I know this is very random, but I, ever since Mick brought up the cheeseburger pizza, I have, I have been unable to stop thinking about it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and it's kind of driving me nuts. I will try to focus. Lay's potato chips versus Welch fruit snacks. All right, um... Can I tell a brief? Can I tell a, uh, Can I tell a story? Mm -hmm. Do we have time for a story? I think so. Yeah. All right. Um, when I was at private school, we took a field trip, <clears throat> an overnight field trip, to the Hers Potato Chip Factory. Cool. Um, it was a long road trip, in an RV. Not an RV. I just lied. I don't know why I told you it was an RV, but it was able to fit a lot of people. We had Popeyes. It was okay. Pope, yes. <laughs> when I got to, so move. fucking long. When, <laughs> when I got to the potato chip factory, I didn't know what the fuck a her was. Um, and I didn't even care so much that I was going to a potato chip factory. It's a pronoun used for women. Yeah. Um, we like those, remember? I, I, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I went to. The joke now is, the joke's right, now right, that we have right, to talk right, about how much up. we like women. Shut up, please. Yeah. I went to the factory. After watching a, a very weird presentation of the mascot, who I think was a gopher. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember who the hers mascot is. Anyways, they brought out this tray of. Fresh out of the oven potato chips, which I had never had before. You have a, a piping hot potato chip, and when you have a, high, a pop a piping hot potato chip for the first time, you realize that a bag of regular potato chips is always letting you down because a hot potato chip is so much better. And now all I can think about with Lay's potato chips is like. Here I am having an unfresh potato chip when I could be eating little tiny bites of a grapefruit snack. I probably just wanted to talk about my trip to the potato chip factory because I don't get a lot of opportunities to talk about my trip to the potato chip factory. <laughs> but I'll vote for Welch's fruit snacks. It's me, right? Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. <laughs> You know, I, I, I just want to make it clear. Um, I actually do kind of like Lay's chips. And I, I, I just, cause people are going to probably be like, oh, he hates Lay's for what I'm about to do to them. But um, I think they're fine. I think that um, they serve their purpose pretty well. They have a good lot of, a lot of varieties. But they are the big cheese of chip making, the big cheese of snacks. And if there's anything that anybody knows about me, it's that I like to keep the big cheese from uh, sleeping at night. So I'm going to go for Welch's because I like them a lot. I'm sure the CEO of Lays is quaking in his boots. Oh, yeah, totally. Jordan oh. just voted for fruit snacks. What's his name? Well, I imagine it's Herschel. Of me. 500 it's... layoffs now. Herschel Lays. <laughs> I was, I was thinking it was John. Are you Mr. Lays? Or is that you, John Lays? John no, Herschel. Lays. No, when you, said Her lot. Like when you said Herschel Lays, that just sounded correct. Yeah, it does. Herschel Lays. <laughs> Although, although, honestly, that sounds more like the guy who founded it, not the person who's the current currently. The I agree. Honestly. No, I absolutely. That is, no, like he's like, hi, I'm Herschel Lays, and this is a 1930s commercial. We wanted to make a chip for people like us, so oh. we invented the Lays plan. Okay, and so George, Taylor, the actual founder of Lays was Herman Lay. You oh, know, shit, you were so very close. close. 
Where does that's he lay? That's insanely well, close. That's, I, I yeah. It, let's and let's pretend that it was based off a lot of well thought out things. Anyway, Who's next? Uh, incidentally, the current the current the, the current CEO of uh, Frito Lay is uh, Stephen Williams, a significant. Oh, that's a lesson. boring name. Yeah, exactly. Stephen Williams Lay. Stephen Williams Universe. Steven Universe oh, would be way worse. A, that's why they haven't made a new chip in a while. Yeah, the that'll do it, gems, right? It's the crystal potato chips. Yeah. Uh, G Genie. Oh, the Lays. Uh, Christian? So now I'm going to tell a story. Mm -hmm. Um, Way back in the day, um, me and a couple of friends went to this <laughs> convention called Liberty City Anime Con. Oh, oh yeah. I, oh, man. And we, you have mentioned this before. And now we went to the first Liberty City Anime Con, and we were like, okay, what are we going to do for food? Well, there's probably a microwave somewhere, so pick up some Hot Pockets. Oh, and no. And pick up anything else that you that you might want to have. Um, uh, in the f future, me would probably be able to tell them that there was no microwave, which would lead to a Hot Pocket being thrown into lukewarm hot water. Um, now, I was like, okay, there's a chance there's no microwave back there. What should I pick up instead in case there's no microwave? Ah, a bag of Lay's potato chips. And I bring this, <laughs> I love this video, by the way. Um, I bring this bag back with me. And as everyone's, like, eating their ramen with, like, coffee straws and throwing Hot Pockets in the sink, I'm sitting there eating out of my bag of Lay's potato chips on the floor with no cushioning lying down <laughs> and there's video footage of me doing such a thing and oh, I you don't loved want to it. admit that <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it I'm voting for Lay's potato chips you traitor it was number fact, one on my, it was number one on my choice you know I, I if you didn't say it I would have it's just going to become a running thing for people to call each other cowards in these fucking <laughs> Everyone's videos. Everyone's a coward. Everyone is, in the year at least. Mm -hmm. But this is a food list. Well, same thing. Ah, fair. Touche. Yeah. Who votes last, Clanky? Yeah, it's me. This is yeah. the longest vote. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's okay. I'm not really a big fruit snacks guy, so it's Liz. Fuck you. Uh, uh. I mean, I hate to see Welch's go, but... Wait, we'll oh, hang on. Is that what's the so wait what's the score? Three Lays. to two lays. Three to two lays. Oh. Oh wait, so I voted for Welch and who else voted for Welch? Me. Jordan. Okay. And the rest of us did lays. I see. Match twelve. Peanut butter crackers versus triscuits. Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> well, do I want to eat a nice warm toasted cracker or do I want to kill people? Is that the sentence? I I feel like you guys don't understand. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't want to pretend that you guys don't get this food because that would be ridiculous. That's that's a very that's a very writer one hundred and one. Don't don't tell people that they don't understand your work. Um, but a peanut butter cracker is a very comfort food. I'd like to say I feel like there's a very homeliness, a very warm happiness to a to a peanut butter cracker. That uh, that, that 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 makes you feel nice. Maybe that's the heartburn, but but a peanut butter cracker is pretty dang good, and uh, I hope we all see that. So, so yeah, you're voting peanut butter crackers. Oh yeah, no, sorry, I didn't know if we had moved to the vote if we were deliberating, but yes, I'm voting for peanut butter crackers. <laughs> Jordan, uh, I. This matchup is going to be a crapshoot because we have Taylor kind of unanimously pushing for peanut butter crackers and then me unanimously pushing for Triscuits, and the other three of you guys are going to have your work cut out for you. So I'm going to put in a vote for Triscuits. It may be the only vote anyone casts for Triscuits in this whole thing, but, um, you know, I was able to. Uh, who, 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 uh, uh, Jeannie? Um, peanut butter crackers. Uh, Christian? 
Jordan, you remember the last time we had peanut butter crackers on the bracket? How did you think you'd only get one vote for Triscuits? When I was five years old, my dad tried to give me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I cried until he took it away from me. I'm voting for Triscuits. Wow. Really? What a difficult child. <laughs> really? I fucking hate peanut butter. Why? What did peanut butter it do to you? It tastes awful. It's so what, bad. What do you mean? It's just fucking... It's peanut and butter. It's... I don't even know if I like peanuts or not. I don't even know. Uh, you don't. Well, good news. They don't taste like peanuts. I don't well, like yeah, peanuts. They taste like terrible. That's what they taste what? like. What? Uh, you're so... Dude, you are way... For, for someone who claims not to be very passionate about food, you are way saltier during food-related brackets than you are during the, the, the video games. Said, well, do you, it's your fault for putting peanut butter crackers on here. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, who's the last vote? Fucking awakened Christian's five-year-old tantrums. Um, it's me. Yeah. Uh, peanut butter crackers. Jordan, I helped as much as I could. Yeah, no, I figured it was gonna happen. Speaking of taking a good song and ruining it, I actually really like Walk the Dinosaur. <laughs> I like food, glorious food. Walk the Dinosaur is genuinely great. Is the Ice Age version of Food Glorious Food good? That's the question. I do, well, probably not. I didn't see Ice Age 2. Oh, well, you need to fix that. Uh, do I, though? It's okay. Oh, yes, Here's you do. The, it, do. Why? It's the why? only what? other good Ice Age movie besides What's the first the one. What's the selling point of one. Ice Age 2? What do you watch Ice Age 2 for? Manny for... says the word ass. The wild-ass boy came home to his wild-ass mother. <laughs> watch Ice Age 2... Because it's actually kind of okay. Yeah. And it had great behind the, the... It had great extra features on the DVD that I played around with. But this is unrelated. Let's keep going. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, match 13. Place. Yes! Cape Cod Kettle Cook Chips versus Ritz Crackers. They're great! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I would this love to watch... This is so fun to edit. <laughs> I would love to watch you all do a cereals bracket. That that sounds like so much fun to see. Uh, maybe. If we ever do another we, one of these fucking I don't things. know if we can get 16 cereals. No. <laughs> all right. Guys, Honey Nut Cheerios are so much better than Cheerios. Anyone like Kix? I was going to mention Kix if no one else. <laughs> oh, oh, we're just going straight on to loading. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's in order as well. Um. Okay. Uh, Kalinky. Uh, I, Cape Cod kettle cooked chips are my favorite chips, period, so that's gonna be it for me. Even though I do like Ritz, it's still gotta go to that. Uh, Christian. I'm gonna go with, uh, Cape Cod kettle cooked chips. Uh, uh, Jeannie? Um, I'm gonna vote for Ritz. Ritz? <laughs> Damn, Putting on the Ritz. You sounded very sad just now, Clanky. Is it I me or Taylor? I didn't hear you, man. Chips. Brits. Oh no. Jordan. Um. Yeah, I gotta give it to the K Cape Cod kettle chips. And Taylor. Um. So I'm doing a lot of like interpreting with these two, where I'm like, these two say they are these things, but I am looking at them as two other things. Because when I eat a Ritz cracker, I will eat a Ritz Bits cheese more often than not. And when I eat a Cape Cod kettle cooked <laughs> chip, uh, well, I will very often still have a Cape Cod kettle cooked chip. But I can, I can imagine that there's a little salt and pepper on them if I want. Um, because that's a brand, and they're delicious. But even by itself, I'll still... Mm, I feel like, as a kid, Ritz crackers probably did it for me more. But as an adult, Cape Cod kettle cooked chips are the, are the, are the thing. It's four to one, Cape Cod kettle cooked chips. No objections, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. All right. I have several objections to Martha's Vineyard. Never been there. It's like uh, right by Cape Cod. Yeah. Uh, all right. Match fourteen. Cheez-Its versus Pretzels. Oh, fuck. Vegan. It's two uh, of mine. <laughs> or, no, it's not. It, no, it's, it's one, one of Taylor's, of, but one that I but might But you know as well what? That's, that's the thing, Jordan. Even though it's mine, it's everyone's. 
Yeah. You see? Because because Cheez Its Cheez Its have that power where it's like you, you you meet someone else who likes Cheez Its and like you think that you're the only one who likes Cheez Its and then you find someone else and you're like, Oh it's like finding someone who likes Calvin and Hobbes. It's like it's popular enough that you know that more people have heard of it, but you don't ever hear anyone talking about it. And that's me and Cheez Its. Everyone knows it's the best, but no one wants to admit it. And because I've said that, Christian is about to bash Cheez Its really hard. I don't like Cheez Its. Damn, that was a pretty hard. Uh, that hurt. Yeah, <laughs> that was. <laughs> Who's first? I think. Uh, is it me? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Cheez Its, so it's going to pretzels. All right, uh, Christian. Pretzels. Uh, genie. Cheese it. Oh thank God! Wait. Oh wait. I don't know that. Oh no. What's Jordan gonna do? Jordan. Taylor. Aren't I the best? I don't know. We're about to find out. I. And again, this pains me because I could vote either of these in, and I have eaten so many pretzels in my life. God damn it, I have to vote for Cheez Its. My man. My man. Brother. <laughs> uh, you, me, and Jeannie should open a restaurant. To just sell Cheez Its. <laughs> we bake Cheez Its into everything. And if you don't like them, we'll kill you with Triscuits. <laughs> no, I, I imagine that they, they serve like just trays of like Cheez Its. Nothing like special about them. Be careful, they're hot. <laughs> you, you know what you know what i would like to imagine we, we open up a cheese it shop like it's like it's the cheese it shop but then we sell sweaters <laughs> doesn't mcdonald's yeah, we ever were going get tired to. of selling those burgers all the time why don't you just, just uh, close it down and start selling cars instead <laughs> that's not my joke and can i interest you in a hummer it's three to two cheese it's right Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Match fifteen: Pringles versus Goldfish. Begin. Well, yeah, one of these smiles time. back. <laughs> I'm not saving it this time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm really, I'm not either, to be real. Yeah. I mean, come on. It's I'm goldfish. glad we're all in agreement. Yeah, yeah. You know, and to add further insult to Pringles, um, all right, just the. Well, you know what? I started that sentence, but actually that handlebar mustache is working for the mascot. Hey, I've got a mustache. Were you, wait, were you about to roast the Pringles mascot? I yeah. thought I was, but I think what I thought, I, 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 I guess I thought he looked different. Isn't he based I... off a real dude, or am I mistaken? Yeah, John Pringle. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I will never not. I will never be upset that Clanky understands that the rule of anyone who invented anything, his first name is John. Yeah, of course. I'm very like I'm very proud to be friends with someone unless, who understands that. Un unless it's like a two word thing, then the other person is Stephen. Or Herschel, I guess. Or Herschel, Herschel works, yes. Or Herschel works if it was founded in like 1854 or something. Pringles <laughs> was founded in like what? 2010? What about things founded pre 1700? Well, I'm sorry. Pringles was not founded in 2010. What are you talking about? Okay, I couldn't tell if he was serious. It was. It, Pringles was like, it's actually a kind of recent snack. Not in 2010. I've been having Pringles since I was a kid. At old is 2010. 1968. Yeah, that's not. Damn it, Mick! I was trying to gaslight. Fuck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. I, okay, good. Okay, I was just being gaslit. Few. <laughs> Few. I've never been so happy to be gaslit. <laughs> what on earth is going on? I don't know. We should vote. Uh, I'm first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, goldfish. Uh. Uh. Christian. Christian. Goldfish. Genie. Pringles. Jordan. Goldfish. Taylor. Fuck, I thought about the cheeseburger pizza again. Uh, <laughs> goldfish. Yeah. I love how the guy in the commercial says goldfish, too. 
Goldfish. goldfish. And you guys remember like the goldfish commercials? Like they had all these, they had characters, like there was Finn. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember and, um, all of those. And like, and like the motorcycle cheese it, like he's flavor blasted. Remember yeah. when he had the brother that was like a sophisticated gentleman? Yeah, oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. I oh, and then they this. introduced the Later cheeseburger on. pizza uh, goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop it! Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely done. It was green! <laughs> and there were no pickles, so why was it still green? Alright, so, uh... Anyway. Match 16. Tostitos tortilla chips versus Wise Air Popped Buttercorn. I'm not really happy about how this is going to go either. Because, like, I like both of these two. Clanky. Uh, yeah, no, it's got, with the dip, it's got to be Tostitos. Uh, Christian? Weiss Air Popped Butter Popcorn. What a mouthful. G Genie? Um, tortilla chips. Jordan? Fuck, this is hard, but, um, I'm sober right now, so Tostitos, tortilla chips. And, uh, uh, Taylor? And it wasn't just even a little bit of green. The sauce Taylor. was green. Taylor. Oh. Taylor. Oh. It's okay. Did Air Pop Popcorn lose? Yeah, but I think it's going to do well in the loser bracket. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I'm still voting for it. Good. Oh, okay, I think I'm out of the trance. Match 17. Ritz crackers versus <laughs> peanut butter crackers. Oh, crackers. You know, the funny thing is, I'm pretty sure these Ritz crackers come in a peanut butter variety. Don't hurt me. Connect this. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. Is are, is peanut butter like a trigger word for you now? It's a mm. I hate word. It triggers my okay. hate reaction. Let's anyway, Mick. Jordan. Oh, okay. I was, I was going to make an awful joke uh, that I'm going to text to Mick because I think he's the only person who would get it. Um. Uh, yes, uh, Ritz crackers. All right. Uh, Christian. Ritz crackers. Uh, Clanky. Ritz crackers. Uh, Genie. Ritz crackers. And Taylor. Man, peanut butter got shafted. Is it both for peanut one. butter? Yeah. Match 18. Pretzels versus Lay's potato chips. Oh, god damn it. Okay. All right, I know. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm, I'm going to do a single... Okay, good. I, I'm glad you enjoyed that, Mick. Uh, <laughs> um, where the hell where the hell were we talking about? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, like that's an absolute potato off. chips. Jordan. Okay. Um, I feel bad because it's... Again, I like Lay's. I do. But I don't think I'm going to have a single vote for it because it keeps getting paired with really, really good things that I love. So, pretzels. Uh, Christian. Uh, Lay's Potato Chips is number two in my entries. Pretzels is number one. I have to give it to Pretzels. Clinky? I'm giving it to uh, Lay's Potato Chips. Genie? Um, Pretzels. He's now three and... to one Pretzels. Okay, I guess in that case, Lay's. Okay. Alright. It was a Match really 19, Pringles versus Veggie Sticks. Oh, okay. Trying to get hype about Veggie Sticks is so hard. <laughs> Sorry, sticks I, is can I just say, my voice started to hurt me um, around oh, yeah. Match 14, and so I stopped <laughs> going as hard. It's okay, yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, no, then you went Then you went like frat boy, hoo hoo! It's Veggie Sticks. Veggie Sticks. Veggie sticks. Yeah. It sounded like you were pogging. Oh, God. Veggie Sticks, pog. No. Just to let you guys know, I will dab uh, every time I announce no. them from here on out. Do it. We won't see it, but we'll feel it. Yeah. I will feel it. It sends out a shockwave. <laughs> I'm ready to vote. Alright, Jordan. Uh, the, 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 um, veggie sticks, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm giving up on Pringles. I, 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 did it. I did it for the lulls, but yeah. Ooh. Uh, Christian. Between these two, I am more interested in veggie sticks. Clanky. 
Pringles. Taylor? You know, I, I, I did have a lot of fun eating Pringles as a kid. And, I, and, I'll, and I'll say one thing about Pringles is um, they're a very... When you open up a can of Pringles, it's very clean. Because you know what we haven't talked about is how stackable they are. Yeah. And um, I, th I think presentation-wise, it's like it's very gourmet. And that, and that, and that design's like, welcome, sir. We stack your chips for you. Duck mouth. Sure. Yeah. He has the mustache for a reason. John Pringle. Yeah. Herschel Pringle. Uh, John Herschel Pringle. John Herschel Jingleheimer Pringle. Um, so, so Pringles. What are the chances of two guys with that name? <laughs> <laughs> you never know, man. Well, I don't know. John Herschel Pringle or John Herschel Jingleheimer Pringle? I, 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 they did a lot Ironically, of because of that surname, his name is literally my name, too. Jordan Herschel, my my, my. No, no. you know what I mean, you bog. Do you know that uh, what is it? One of the stop motion uh, Rankin Bass Christmas things where you have the bad guy named Burger Meister Meister Burger. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. I forget which one it is. I think it's Santa Claus coming to town. It's one. Yeah, that it is that one. together for me. Anyway, uh, what the hell? Genie's the tiebreaker. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pringles. Pringles stays alive, baby. Match 20. Wise Air Popped Buttercorn versus Annie's Buttergrams. Okay. Funny Grams. Whatever. Buttergrams. Now that's Buttergrams. Buttergrams. Now that sounds like a treat. I don't want a butter up gram. Buttergram just sounds like what I do before I fuck him. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I should have seen you that. You guys are getting way less subtle with the jokes at this point. <laughs> Who cares? Like, like, like. Listen, I'm gar I guarantee you, in five yearlies, the joke's gonna be, Haha, "Me and Graham have gay sex." Yeah. <laughs> like Pretty that's much. the punt. Like that's just the joke. That's the joke. I think it's just sex. Yeah. Okay. So, um. I have had way more Wise popcorn than I have the Bunny Grams, and I like them better, so I'm going with Wise but uh, popcorn. Huh. Uh, Christian. It would be Wise to vote for Wise Air Popped Butter Popcorn, which is what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess, like, ultimately, if I want popcorn, I'm going to have the one that I microwave. Uh, so I'm going to vote for Annie's. Uh, Taylor? I had two power fantasies about me and Wise Popcorn just now. The first one was me tying my hands behind my back and like bobbing in it like like you would eat up in a pie eating contest and just diving into a bowl of it. And the second was taking a Scrooge McDuck dive into a pool of Wise Air Pop Butter Popcorn. Um, and both of them sounded really fun. So, that one. Did I just... Whatever. Um... Sorry, I kind of felt like I had a stroke before you gave that answer. I don't know. Um, I feel Sorry. like I blacked out through part of that, and I was really confused. Anyway. Um, I, I mean, do, do you want me to call a doctor? No, no, I'm fine. Uh, bunny grams. Okay. Um, so I believe the... Yeah, the popcorn. Okay. Yeah, the popcorn wins. Um, okay. Match 21. Pretzels versus Ritz Crackers. Okay. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, uh, clanky. Uh, mm, yeah, I guess I'm voting for Preds. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, I think I'm voting for Ritz Crackers, actually. All right, Taylor. Uh, yeah, I think I'm also going to go Ritz. All right, uh, Christian. Um, well, uh, I guess it'll be, this will be the first time my luck of the bracket will be wrong. Uh, I will vote for pretzels anyways to see if it could clutch this one. Uh, Genie? Ritz. And Jordan. What's what's the score again? Three to one Ritz. Um, Ritz three to one Ritz? Yeah. Oh, pretzels. My beloved. <laughs> oh, wow. The rolled gold's fucking mind its last gold rolled rod. Yeah, that one. 
match 22 was Air Pop Buttercorn versus Pringles. Okay, this has gone far enough. Are we done with Pringles finally? <laughs> no, we're not. Are we, though? Shut we're up. done with Pringles. It keeps surviving anyway. It's like the... It's good. Listen, the longer we keep Pringles on the bracket, the longer my torment continues because of its association with a cheeseburger flavor. Like, is that right. not enough of an answer for you? Ready to vote. Clanky. Pringles. Uh, Taylor. It's the pop, butter pop, air pop, wise pop. Three o'clock, four o'clock pop. Five, six, <laughs> seven o'clock, eleven o'clock pop. We're gonna pop around the wise tonight. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's real. With the non-stop pop up and stainless, and stainless steel. steel. Christian. Pringles gonna deliver it to you. No, I'm voting for wise. Uh, Jeannie. Pringles. And Jordan. You know, it's funny. The last time I was in um, deciding position, I wrecked Lay's and went with Pringles. And as funny as it would be to do that again and just spit in the face of decency and respect just to go with the funny Pringles answer, I'm not going to fucking do that. Wait, uh, why is buttered popcorn is superior? And so I'm voting for that. Okay. So popcorn moves on. Match 23. Cape Cod Kettle Cooked Chips versus Cheez-Its. Oh, boy. All right. Listen. Cape Cod is like a whole trip. <laughs> Cheez-Its are right here. <laughs> Taylor. Cheez-Its are right here. <laughs> Christian. Yeah, Jesus are right here. They're they're way just, too close. Just shut they up and vote for Cape Cod. Far away. Shut, oh my God! Fuck you. Cape Cod. Such an asshole today. <laughs> it's food. Who cares? I care. I fucking like Jesus, and that's fine. They make me happy, and that's Jordan. great. Um, I like Jesus. They make me happy, and so I'm voting for them. Clanky. I yeah. I it's it's definitely Cape Cod. And Jeannie. Um, Cheez-Its. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Cheez-It <laughs> shop! That makes sweaters! Cheez-It shop! If Cheez-Its wins, I think I'll be a little upset. Me and Clanky are in solidarity right now. No, uh, I, I thought, I thought Cheez-Its had a great shot of winning. I don't like Cheez-Its is the well, issue. Well, you also don't like Nathan's, but you're wrong. Sure, whatever you say, buddy. This is why, this is why I make fun of Goldfish versus Tostitos tortilla chips. Fuck. Hold up. Yep. All right, we're good. Fuck. That's all I have to say. Just fuck. Taylor. Snack that smiles back. Fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love all of you. Uh, <laughs> I want someone it's to make that. My love, Taylor. Can Can one of you make that commercial? Can you upload to your very obscure editing editing channel just yeah, a goldfish commercial where the snack that smiles back? Fuck. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's goldfish. It's I, I, I'm a little nervous to vote for goldfish because I'm not sure if Cheez-Its can beat it, but that's goldfish is what my heart says. All right, uh, Christian. Um, I would love it if goldfish beat Cheez-Its, but that's just me personally. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to goldfish. Right, Jordan. Hmm. This is tough, but um, I assume I, I'm not assuming anyway. Can I can, can can you come back to me actually? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, Clanky. Um, I'm gonna be really upset when it's Goldfish versus Cheez Its and Cheez Its wins. So I'm voting for Goldfish. And Genie. Um, tortilla chips. <gasps> Back to Jordan. Yeah, it, if it's if it's gonna be three and two, I don't feel as bad as voting for Tostitos, but Goldfish is still awesome. Yeah. Or you click you. However this is, however this goes, I'll be with you. Match twenty five. Cape Cod kettle cooked chips versus Wise Air Pop Buttercorn. 
All right. Can we all agree that Wise has gone on long enough? Can we please? No. No. Yes. God, discount dollar store popcorn. I'm okay. What are you? I'd you rather really? have it. I, the, this is. God, chips are so good. Uh, Clanky, here's here. the thing. Here's the thing, Clanky. I agree with you. They are so good. But like, Wise Air Pop Butter Popcorn is like cocaine. <clears throat> Yeah, so not is, uh, it's it's like I'm like I might I might have like a month or two ago maybe been able to be persuaded, but then I had some and it's like it's just like good sex. Once you had some, you just gotta keep having it. I wouldn't exactly compare sex to po wise popcorn. Okay, uh, troll, troll two would beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. So, Clinky, you go first. Uh, I'm just so upset. It's going to Cape Cod. <clears throat> All right, Jordan. Fuck. Um, you know what, Cape Cod? That that argument about only having it when you're smacked is is really is really about to kill Wise. All right, yeah. Taylor. But Wise. <laughs> <laughs> Great timing, man. Okay, Christian. <laughs> I'm voting for Wise Air Popped Butter Popped Air Wise Corn. And Genie. Uh, Cape God. <gasps> oh, All right. I no. mean, look, I'm not bitter. Unlike Clanky, I didn't care. <laughs> Genie, I think Clanky has just fallen even more deeply in love with you. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> have. <laughs> It's like I don't know. I don't know why Wise is getting all this hate. I mean, like, what's I, your what's your beef? I don't it's hate just, it. I don't I, get it either. Like, I'm I'm with I said you. Before, I just like if I'm going to make popcorn, I'm going to make popcorn. No, but I'm it's not, like I'm not gonna like, eat it. It's just like I don't know. It tastes too buttery. It tastes off. It tastes like it was meant to be preserved. And to me, the best kind of popcorn is hot. And and then maybe. <laughs> Maybe we should have just voted for microwave popcorn instead of I, just that's stupid what, fucking That's what I was trees. trying to get you all to do. Been. And you were all very adamant <laughs> that Clanky's say, Pantry get included. I was going to say, like, I'm obviously I voted for it for the meme. I won't deny that. I'll be I'll be honest. And, and that's why I, it was but kind I, of funny. If I didn't but... get like a normal vote, I would have voted if I a normal vote. If I did choose with my heart, I would have probably chosen the microwavable popcorn. I gave you guys a chance. I'm like, okay, are you sure? <laughs> I get it, but listen, the pantry joke was so funny that I just had to vote for it. I would have actually voted for several things. I would have actually voted for uh, for the pantry over several things on this bracket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know what? The, you know what the sad thing is? Only Clanky gets to eat from Clanky's pantry. We can't have it. All, we have to... all I have to do is throw a Clanky's pantry party, and then we can <laughs> all enjoy what's in there. You know what I imagine, Clanky? I don't know. Um, I don't know anything about your sisters, all, other than the fact that you have two of them. So I you, imagine you know, talks to one a bunch, though. I know, but I don't know what she looks like. Um, <laughs> you know, that's fair. That's fair. Nor do I know any of her hobbies, other than playing Among Us with us sometimes. Um, so I just imagine um, there are these two characters in Persona Five. Oh my who god! Are, <laughs> who are like gatekeepers? Who are like wardens of a prison? Like and his sisters just are keeping him in prison. So, uh, no, so no. I, 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 I imagine just... they're like the wardens of the pantry. Like <laughs> you can't get into the pantry unless they let you. So, like, quick story. So you, you mentioned that. So when I was over at Clanky's for a barbecue, right? And I did finally meet one of his sisters. And uh, what's going on? Uh, she said hello, and, uh, uh, like, Clinky, you were like, yeah, say hello, uh, and she was like, hello, and, I, and she didn't seem to recognize me, I'm like, like, recognize my voice or anything, so I'm like, we played Among Us together, and it, like, it came out, like, the creepiest way possible. <laughs> oh, God. Well, what I took away from that is that I wasn't invited to Clinky's barbecue. This was I... a while ago. <laughs> it, it was. It, it was a while ago, and you lived in the city. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fine. It's okay. Um, I'm, 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 I'm sure, by the way, you're fine with me giving away that information about where we, you we've live. We've talked about it before. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, good, yeah. Taylor, you're invited to my first barbecue. But, but also, also I, it's like, when I moved it's literally Texas. the most, it's it's literally like the third most populous city in the world. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not like it can track oh, it down. I mean, you could have, you could have left it at the city and like, oh, well, which one? And it would have been ambiguous. We've talked about it before. It's fine. I don't care. 
Yeah. Look, it's it become clear that, that I'm from Jersey, you're from the city, and the rest of you are from Long Island. That's not vague. <laughs> Round no, no, 26. Uh, toast. Match 26. Yeah. Tostitos tortilla chips versus Ritz Cracker. Okay. I think I know how this is going to go, and I don't like it, but all right. <laughs> uh, uh, Clanky. Uh, Ritz. Jordan. Probably for the last time, Tostitos uh, tortilla chips. Taylor? There's like a part of me that almost has forgotten the exact taste of a tortilla chip. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure if that means I wouldn't vote for Come back to me. Okay. Christian? Uh, I'm going to be giving it to... Oh, shit. I'm giving it to Tostitos. And GD? Uh, Ritz. So is yeah. that... Uh, Taylor needs to vote. It's two two. Yeah, it's two yeah, two. Uh, uh, huh. If I'm gonna go online and order one of these snacks to have in my pantry right now, yeah, <clears throat> and I think I'd probably have some tortilla chips. What? I think I feel like. Think about a Ritz. Ritz crackers are good, but I feel like I want the Ritz bits. And even if I get the Ritz bits, they get stale pretty fast. I mean, the chips do too. I, I'm very like <laughs> this is a this is a very like Taylor is gonna listen back and be like, you made the absolute wrong decision, or he's gonna be like, yeah, that makes sense, kind of. I get it. This was a hard one. Um, so I'm not gonna. I'm not going to let myself be. Look, because that's me. I listen to myself back, and I'm like, my brain knows what I'm voting for, and then I listen to what Taylor votes for, and I either say, good job, Taylor, or what the fuck did you just vote for? Um, so, uh, why is there a video of... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so Christy does for right now. So, Mick, you just did uh, a comeback to me, and you're not even voting in this. That's... Oh no no no! Because he was asking, he was going to ask about the video okay. I shared, but that's the right, one I mentioned yeah. earlier. Um, match twenty-seven: Cape Cod kettle cooked chips versus Tostitos tortilla chips. Crystal. Tostitos tortilla chips. GD. Um. Cape Cod. Okay. Cape Cod. Taylor. Having said what I said last time, this one, if I'm going chips, I'm having a kettle cooked chipped over a tortilla chip. Jordan. Hell of a run, Tostitos. Hell of a run. Which one are you voting for? Tostitos, right? Because it's, ah, yeah. it's, three, it's three to two Cape Cod already. Yeah. No, three to one Cape Cod already. So yeah, Tostitos. Well, um. Match 28. Jesus. Versus Goldfish! <laughs> Taylor. To the untrained eye, these things seem so similar. But no. to a wise connoisseur, they are so different. And she's this is a better snack. Mm. Christian. And I only hope a good um, friend. Let's different. hope Goldfish takes this one. Oof. Jordan. I don't know, Christian. Jesus. <laughs> Clanky Genie, please. Oh, yeah, they will. Don't worry. Well, I mean, at least one of them will. Clanky? Let's hope Goldfish wins this one. Genie. You know, Genie. <sighs> Remember Genie, the shot. Why? <laughs> Genie, why? <laughs> well, it could still. Go, goldfish could still win in this one. Yeah, and then what's gonna happen? Look, Jesus won the bracket, okay. but let's oh, see the. She voted for Jesus. I didn't even hear the vote. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, right. shop that big sweaters. Match twenty nine: Goldfish versus Cape Cod kettle cooked eat. chips. Your 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 vote. Goldfish or Cape Cod? You're oh, voting for uh, second place, basically. Goldfish or the or the town of Cape Cod was Cape Cod a town? I think. Yeah, eh, it's a region. <laughs> Thank you, Mick. Thank you, geography expert Mick. Um, no, 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 this isn't a geography expert. I used to go to Cape Cod um, every so summer when I was a kid. No, I'm thankful because I don't. I, I feel less foolish. Uh, mm, you know, 
I actually have a giant box of goldfish in my pantry right now, and I haven't opened it because it's like I don't I don't need goldfish because I have Cheez-Its. But Cape Cod isn't doing anything today, so I'll call him up and be like, "You up? <laughs> we'll hang out. Or we'll have some have some kettle. Maybe cook it." <laughs> Some kettle. <laughs> Just a little small piece. All right, Christian. That's a that's a vote for Cape Cod kettle cooked chips, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, come on, goldfish. You can at least get second place. Like Jesus. All right, Jordan. Goldfish. Planky. I I mean I love goldfish, but Cape Cod chips are better. Hmm. And Genie. Cape Cod. Okay. Oh, I just don't vibe with any of y'all food-wise. I really okay. don't. Well, there's I a will... reason we're sort of petering off the food leaf for this. Well, that's not the reason I left, but, like... All right. <clears throat> and finally... Oof. The final round is loading. Yep. Round 30! <laughs> Jesus! Horses! Cape Cod's kettle cook chips. You've oh, done it. We gotta get to the DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I, mean, I, thought I, don't just, know. I thought he was just doing Methuselah, or like this was symbolic of. For just an uh, old he man. Was, he was so young when this started, and now <laughs> he's so old. It but sounded he... like the voice he made when he was talking about Bioshock. We gotta go I'm back to the future, Hermione. He's like. The, the game's finally out. We can play it. <laughs> like, we gotta go back to the Triscuits. <laughs> Jeez, Doc, I don't know. And Who's the president? <laughs> How Who's old the president of 1985? Uh, and why are we friends? I am ready to vote. Okay, go for I'm it. I'm a disgraced <laughs> nuclear physicist. Mick, let someone vote. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, uh, Clanky. Cape Cod. Uh, Jordan. Cheese it's y'all. Genie. Cheese it's. Daniel. Uh, Cape Cod kettle cooked chips. I'm sorry. I might have just had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you were all still paying attention. <laughs> what the fuck is Daniel? <laughs> He answered. He answered, he answered no. He answered Daniel so nonchalantly <laughs> that like he didn't question it at all. I was so convinced that he was right. Jordan, make a Christian asset, but change his name to Daniel. <laughs> I was so sure I had been in like a thirty-year-long coma, and I was just waking up. I was so happy. And, like the, the yearlies went on for thirty years. <laughs> the drugs. No, 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 no. You don't understand. There is no yearlies. I'm just in a coma. Oh, I see. I see. All my friends and family are dead. I'm on my deathbed. And you're hating Triscuits. <laughs> so, you, yeah, no, everything's wrong. But the only thing that I know for certain in this crazy world is that cheeseburger pizza is disgusting. <laughs> Please, it's... Cheez-Its is the winner of the snack lease. Great Scott! Damn. Well, uh, yeah, Clanky, I'm with you. <laughs> so. I mean, I think this is the first time in, 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 the, in the history of these that we've had something that won because three people liked it, the, liked it the most, but the other two despised it. Like, I'm very used to one person being upset, usually Mick. But um, <laughs> but that it's but that it's two people, and that it's Clanky and Christian. I just think cheese. It's I I don't know, dude. I just really don't like them. They just don't. Taste Why? Good. But I, I like 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 you've said that for a while. But like what what what's what's wrong with them? Like, you like goldfish, but you don't like cheeses. Yeah, because cheese <laughs> just taste too crunchy for me for a cheese snack. You said the burnt ones are the best. I think the burnt ones taste even worse. I just. I think they're too overcooked. I feel like goldfish are cooked just the right amount, and like well, cheese so like, feel a little the, bit more nasty in my mouth. Is the yeah, way. so like I also don't like. I also prefer. I also love goldfish, and I also hate Cheez-Its. I know it's 
odd, but uh, like for me, I think personally the thing is is that like Cheez Its just have such a more aggressive ta- flavor that, to them. Yeah, and I like the aggressive. Way to describe it. Yeah, it is very ag- uh, like, like aggressive it. cheese. Like honestly, I just I like the best way I can put it is just I don't think they taste good, but like you know, that's um, there's, a, there's a certain violence to the sharpness of the cheese. I, I'm using some very exaggerated language here. Um, no, I mean like for me, I guess like. In that same language, I feel like goldfish is kind of like there's a bit of filler in it. I don't mind the filler. Just yeah, yeah, I, the goldfish I like cheese. It's I, I like gold. I, mean, I like cheese a lot, but I, I like goldfish quite a bit. I feel like cheese. It's like condenses. Like it, it's like a it's like a more condensed burst of flavor. And like yeah, and that's the it, thing. I, that's the thing. I that's the thing. I think I don't like because I also don't like flavored blasted goldfish. No, 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 for but no, 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 no. The same But see, that's the thing. When I said that, I'm like, oh, but maybe they think I'm talking about flavored blasted. I'm not crazy about flavored blasted because the thing is, like, I think it's like it's 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 like it's rigid almost. It's like it's 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 sharp, but it's not strong. Um, like, okay, do you guys like well done pizza? Like, do you like yeah. do you like do you like when the cheese? I'm asking like Clanky Mick Christian. Do you like when your cheese is a little, is a, is cooked a little extra, no. or do you like it when it's? I like it when I, I like it when the pizza's more doughy. Yeah, me too. I'm okay. I'm actually personally um my favorite I my personal favorite um way uh for to eat pizza is when the pizza is is when the crust is really crispy but the cheese mm. is really melty. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, no, like a fresh pizza, to eat, but yeah, you know. with the cheese, with the cheese sliding down, that's good. But no, but the impression I'm getting is that you don't uh, like. I, I like it when my cheese is a little burnt as well. I'm saying even with pizza. So I'm saying maybe a cheese it more yeah. closely affixes to my style of pizza in the same way that a goldfish more closely affixes to your styles of pizza. I mean, like Pizza Hut made a cheese it pizza thing for a reason, oh, probably because they thought the flavors mended. Apparently, it didn't didn't work out that well and i felt like if i had brought up the cheese uh the pizza hut cheese it um i would have done cheese it's a disservice supposedly i wanted to try it but whatever it all worked out for me um yeah <laughs> I, I have to point out um if you open up the full results you get to see every single thing that was on the bracket and if you go to the very very bottom it's uh clanky's pantry famous almost cookie packs off-brand veggie sticks crumpled up bags of barbecue doritos that are powder and dust Tied with talkies, oh. Welch's fruit snacks, and death. Three cheese. Ah, guys, this has been a blast. Does yeah. anyone other than me, a flavor blast, Christian, uh, uh, want to uh, want to I sign us off? I can uh, do it. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for watching the Foodlies. Uh, this was a lot of fun for us. We don't know when the next one of these we're going to do is going to be, uh, or if, if that is going to be anything at all. Until then, you can always watch our regular yearlies. This was a lot of fun. Like, uh, like our videos, subscribe to our channel. We do a lot of good stuff. Uh, I hope you're enjoying all of it. Uh, until next time, uh, to quote Biff Tannen, why don't you make like a tree and get out of here?